still never believe it. It's like going live, going live, going live, going live, and it's like you're live. You're not, are we though? That's why I'm actually waiting now. I've got it open down here so we can see. Hello everyone. Hopefully the stream is looking good. Hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully you are good. Welcome to another eTechnics live stream. It seems to be like a weekly occurrence now. So yeah, if you can let us know how the video is, how the audio is, and more importantly, how everyone's doing. We've got a, a pretty special one today, new Corsair case, which we can finally, now that it's two o'clock, kind of lift the lid on. So uh, all good. Straight away, Welshie with the super chat. Thank you very much, sir. Very much appreciated. Funny thing is it comes up with a two pound super chat, but apparently we've earned two pound and a penny. Don't know how that works, but there you go. Adam Baker, everything is good. Cool. So yeah, uh, Corsair are releasing a new case today, so we thought opportune moment to, to do a build. We have actually got a review over on etechnics.com, so if you want to get the full lowdown on the written stuff, then there's that. The good thing about today, you're not going to hear much from Brandon, because, well, he's he's not well. I'm like, very sick. He's very sick, so he's got a, a much lower voice now. Um, but yeah, is one of those things. I'm going to try and keep my distance as much as I can. I'm probably going to get him to do the building anyway. Uh, the whole point of today is Corsair have released a new series of cases. So the one that we've got is the 2500X. And it is something very different for Corsair, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's more deep and whatnot, instead of being like a tool case, like we saw with, you know, the 4000 series, the 5000 series, 7000 series, and so forth. So I think we should actually show off the case first, just so... Everyone's oh, got well. kind of an idea. I know it's underneath everything. All right, let me take let me take my take take your little <laughs> your little red pill that's oh. going to make you feel better. So you might as well put all that stuff up here so people can kind of get an idea as to what we've got anyway. So here's some of the stuff. You're probably going to notice a bit of a theme. It is very very Corsair centric. So AIO. We've got all the new um, IQ Link stuff as well. So all the cables. Uh, of course, air SSD. We've got the LCD screen for the AIO. Dominator Titanium First Edition memory. Like this is, uh, I think, a, a power connector bridge type thing. Then we've got the RM One Thousand X shift power supply. So this is the one with the connectors that are actually on the side. And then we've got QX One Twenty RGB fans. So really, really Corsair centric. So uh, if you like Corsair, you're going to absolutely love this live stream. If you don't, stick around because, you know, you get to chat with us. Uh, speaking of chat, you know, we will try and keep up with the chat as much as we physically can. But if you do want to, you know, have something read out in super fast time, the best way to do it is through Super Chat. So, well, she with, with two Super Chats now. Hello, hello, hello. Right, case. So they're actually releasing three models today. The 2000D Airflow, the 2000X and the 2000X RGB. We've actually got the 2000X, so no RGB, but we are going to put isn't, quite a lot of RGB into it anyway. Isn't it 2500? I said that, right? You said two, 20, 2000, didn't you? I don't know. 2500, that's the one. So this is the case. Uh, we've got it in white. It is obviously available in other colors. But as you can see, it's very, very different. It's Corsair's, I guess, first attempt at like a fishbowl type case. So we've seen similar from the likes of Lian Li, Lee, um, who else? Montec. Who else has got cases that are like fish tank? We've got NZXT, NZXT with the H9. Yeah, so there's quite a few brands out there. But this one is quite a bit different as well. So I don't know how well the camera is actually going to see this, but if we put it that way, firstly, it's not light, is it? No, Like for the size so. of it, you'd, you'd actually expect it to be quite light, but it is fairly on the heavy side. But yeah, we've got glass here. We have obviously no A pillar, so the glass just meets here. Then the more interesting thing, I think, obviously the top, you have huge amounts of ventilation, which has got obviously the, I guess you could call it signature Corsair design now, can you, with the little triangles? Yeah, we, yeah. we noticed every, every case manufacturer has their own way of doing mesh. Yep. Corsair has little triangles. Yeah, so little triangles there. But the more interesting one is the front. This, when it's got stuff in, is going to weigh so much. The Corsair logo on the front looks really premium, by it the way. It does, yeah. It's like a chrome sort of esque look. But the more important thing is this side. This is full triangular mesh. And so you can see right through it. You can. Um, so this is actually quite interesting because I don't think I've ever seen a brand do anything like this before. Have you? Yes. Who? NZXT's H9 is exactly the same. Not like this. They've got. No, theirs is. Theirs is like metal. Yeah. 
kind of thing. This is actually, if you mean just mesh and nothing yeah. else, then yeah. yes. Yeah, I mean, this I is like flexible to a degree, whereas, yeah, other brands would have, you know, a sheet of steel and they'd basically punch it out, but no one's done anything like this. So mm. I, I want to say this is quite revolutionary. So this is, and I will sort of say this on live stream, this is the first time I've actually seen the case today. We got it out of the box and this is my first time seeing it. So I really don't know anything about the case. I can tell you in the US it's $199. Um, excluding taxes. If you want the RGB version, then it's $259. In Europe, it's $149.90. If you want the RGB version, then it's $229. And then in the United Kingdom, this is $129.99. If you want the RGB version, $199.99. So you're paying 70 quid, $70 for RGB fans, which I guess is about right for Corsair, right? Is that all the difference is? Is it just add some RGB fans? Yeah. How many yeah. of them? Uh, I'm guessing it'll be three, maybe. I'm not sure. I have got the reviewers guide open, so I can kind of refer to uh, a few things and yeah, sort of have a look at. Th maybe three, but you could also probably make the reasonable assumption that they'd go for two here, because it looks like they only fit two here. Yeah, so they, it's probably two there and maybe one at the back. That's that what you get sense. included. Um, sense, I don't think yeah. they do three at the bottom, but... Yeah, either way, very interesting. I am going to attempt to strip it down. Like I say, I don't know anything about this case. Don't know how it opens. It's got two thumb screws on this side, and then the glass panel comes off. It has got little sort of lugs on there to hold it into place. Then we have the other side, which I'm guessing is very similar, just obviously not glass. So comes off, yeah. So it has got, you know, ventilation for, for days. Now, the top is still heavy. <laughs> That's the surprising thing. So the top actually looks like this bit's riveted in. I had a look at this bit. That pops out. Yeah, you pull that out. So it does have, the top bit has like a, a little 2,500 or 2,500, I guess, Closed tag is the closest thing you could sort of say what it is. Yeah, I mean, that's basically all it is. Yeah. You know, the little tag at the back of your clothes that gets itchy on your neck. Yeah. So, yeah, again, ventilation, tons of it. Uh, if you put that down there. We have obviously got space for our radiators at the top, which we are going to put a radiator in. Probably makes sense to put it at the top because we're using a 360 mil. So we want to put it at the top, not at the bottom, because hoses and things like that. I'm guessing the front panel comes off. We probably wouldn't be able to fit a one at the bottom anyway, given our GPU choice anyway. Mm. So I'm just trying to figure out how that comes off. Looks like it's got something there. That looks like clippy things. Yeah, I'm just it looks wondering. Like there's clippy things at the top. I think this needs to unscrew. So there's a screw over here. So that looks like it might be attached to it there. Yeah. So by the looks of it, this is what it looks like on the inside now. It does look like we'd have to unscrew this bit and then this whole panel comes off and then that will allow that bit to slide out potentially. Maybe, it, it does look like if we just unscrew this screw here and the same on the bottom, we might be able to pop it out. Maybe. Let's, uh, let's take off the top bit. So we've got a handy dandy eTechnics PC maintenance toolkit available over on store.etechnics.com. Comes with everything you need to build, repair and maintain your PC. So. Except the parts for the PC. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it doesn't come with that. Okay, so, I mean, that's sort of popped off a little bit. Ooh, what's going on? I don't know, actually. That's just kind of there now. That uh, seems just to be decorative. I think it might be, yeah. So maybe you were right with that front bit? Yeah, there were, there's a screw here and one at the bottom. So then it slides out, maybe? Yeah. Was that just the normal bit that you used? I have my own screwdriver yeah, yeah. ready on standby. So we screw that back in. Like I say, this is the joys of live stream, where we don't know anything about this case. So uh, you guys get to see it at the same time we do. That's, I think it's quite an interesting idea for mm. this build in particular. You're getting the most honest review possible right now. Yeah. I mean, so far, first impressions are good. I'll give it that. Um, that really nice. I know straight away we are going to have to remove what looks like the hard drive cage Ooh. because of the way that the power supply goes. I'm lost. What do I do from here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. It's got little hooks that I was getting caught uh, on here. I don't think you can so there we go. kind of see that. So this is now, yeah, it's got some flex to it, but you'd expect that because there is no A-pillar here now. But this is great because it does give you kind of free entry into you know the bulk of the case, essentially, which is quite nice. Uh, we'll have a look at some chat as well. That's a good looking case, it is. Uh, Yantek, hey, hey, how are we doing? 
Corsair did do the 280X before. Yeah, and I had the 560X, but none of them had like ventilation like that. This is, I guess, quite reminiscent of those cases because it's dual chamber. So you have got power supply and everything goes one side, hard drives go there as well. There's plenty of room for SSDs. We've got one tray here, one tray there. Wait, right. Oh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you turn that ever so slightly around. They've hidden them in this front section here that yep. would normally just go to waste. I guess it makes sense. Like once you, if you had an AIO sort of there, then yeah, kind of makes sense. Yeah. But there's some other things I really like actually, just looking at this. The first one is white cables. Ooh. So if you're getting the white one, you are going to get white cables. So Always good. they have thought about that. This is a big one for me. So I'm actually going to switch the camera over to that one. It's going to be very out of focus, but it is. But this very blown out. Wow. This is a very, very big one for me because it's a front panel header that doesn't need, you know, all of the individual ones and, and everything. It just makes life so much easier. And as far as I know, there's only one other brand who actually does that. So Corsair are catching up. We've got Type-C, we've got USB 3.1, we've got a front panel, and then we've got the HD audio, which is slightly different. So when you look at it, the front panel is actually individual cables, uh, and then this is, yeah, sleeved. So yeah, I quite like that. I'm guessing obviously the black one's gonna have black, but yeah. And it does also look like, if we open this up, this is gonna be where your hard drives go for people who still use them and then they just slide out the back, which I think is actually quite similar to what the 680X was as well. So we've got, yeah, little plastic trays for hard drives for anyone who still uses them. And in the second one is all of our accessories, which you know it's a, a good case when you get a little plastic box with like all your screws. So you basically end up with like a little toolbox for everything and it looks like they have the new fan screws in there as well. So if you guys can see it, they have got these new sort of fan screw design, which should make life a lot easier instead of essentially like cutting into the fan, isn't yeah, it? How, how do you describe what they look like? It's kind of a bit like a rivet, but without obviously the cap that sort of goes onto it, if that makes sense. It's like, all right. How, hmm. <laughs> it's more barbershop pole than screw, if that makes sense. Barbershop pole. I mean, that's definitely a way to, to explain it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I, I do, but yeah. Uh, there you go. Giving away with all the parts. So we're not giving this case away for one reason and one reason only. I might actually retire my 4000X RGB and replace it with this. For me, it would just be a motherboard and GPU swap. So yeah, and it's going to be interesting because the spec that we're actually going to put in this is quite similar to what my spec is. So should be good. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, there's a link to the store. Thank you, Jacob. Hi from the UK. How are we doing? Getting my 2500X in black on the 4th. Happy days. So I'm guessing they're available to buy now anyway. Uh, the front section of the 280X was wasted. Good to see they didn't repeat it. Yeah, I think that's something that we find with Corsair. The ethos is still there as they go like case to case, but they do change things and you know learn from their mistakes and stuff like that. So plenty of room for your power supply, which we take that out we put this back on screw that back into place and then if we turn this around you can see the sheer amount of room that we have for a power supply which we are going to take this cage out because the power supply connections on the actual unit itself are going to go up because it's a shift unit which is ever so slightly different but you'll see what i'm talking about when i get the power supply out but it does mean that we've got kind of all this room at the top all this room under here to essentially hide everything. So it's not actually, I wouldn't say it's that wide either, considering like compared to a normal case. Would you? It's, I mean, the- Ever so slightly. The one we used last time was an NZXT H9, right? Yep, which I'd say this is about as wide. I was gonna say it looks narrower. Like, norm, yeah, almost as wide. But no, I think overall pretty good. Fan support, we are looking at 120. Yep, well, we've got 140 at the bottom, 140 at the top. Looks like 120 at the back. I'm guessing that's 120 there. I have actually got the specs, so I'll bring them up quickly. We can have a little look. So cooling layout front. So it says front two 120s or two 140s. I mean front, I that, think. I assume that's this. No, it says side. So, hmm, front. Front. The front's glass, so I don't know how they're figuring that one out. Is there a non-glass version? Ah, yes. 
Yes, so the 2500D airflow has got a panel there. So you can right. put two 120s at the front there. You've then got three 120s or two 140s at the top. The side, so this bit here, is two 120s. Then the bottom is three 120s or two 140s. And then the rear is a 120. So radiator-wise, we've got top can take up to a 360 or a 280 or a 240. The side can do 240 and the bottom can do 240, 280 and 360. And then the rear, if you really wanted to, you could put in a 120 mil rad in there. Um, but yeah, it's got four expansion slots. So um, yeah we are going to have to change our motherboard. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we chose an ATX motherboard to go with this. We are actually going to we are going to be restricted. It's micro ATX or mini ITX. So that throws a slight spanner in the works. So okay. I'm going to let you go next yeah, door and and find a different motherboard. I think I have one in mind. Okay. Yeah, basically we were going to use the Z790A gaming Wi-Fi 2 just because it is silvery kind of white-esque and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's thrown a slight spanner into our works. Uh, we've got another super chat, so thank you very much for that. Can the PCI bracket area be removed and rotated for vertical mounting? So, by the looks of it, it does come off. So if I turn it around like this, you can see if we unscrew here and here, it does look like this whole panel comes off but they don't give you another panel to put back in. So I'm guessing it's sold separately. And then, uh, yeah, you'd have to change it over. So yeah, for horizontal vertical GPU mount is sold separately. So I'm guessing within the GPU mount, you're going to get, if I have a look here, it does look like there's screws on here. I'll see if I can actually do the split so you can see, but you can see there's screw holes on here and just here as well. So it does look like this is where your vertical mount would go. So I'm gonna guess that they actually give you the mount itself, maybe, yeah, with a riser, makes sense, most brands do. And then they're gonna give you a slightly different bracket to have that vertical GPU mount. Sadly, we haven't got that, so we are gonna have to stick with this, but yeah, I think it's still gonna look very, very nice. Another cool thing as well that I just noticed on this is uh, it does have a little strap, like a Velcro strap. So let's tighten this back up. The thumb screws are slightly different as well. They're actually a lot, lot smaller. So if I turn this round, you guys can probably see the thumb screws are actually like really, really small in comparison to, I guess, normally what you'd expect a thumb screw to look like. Maybe it's a cost saving measure, but they feel like really good quality and everything. Um, still quite hard to sort of use as a thumb screw. You are gonna need a screwdriver. But I guess that depends on, yeah, how much you do that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I have the four, I'll have the 4000D if you retire it. So it's your 4000X, so it's the RGB one. Um, just like the Fantech screw box. Yeah, the, the, I think Antec did this on some of their high-end stuff as well. So the, I can't remember the names. They had the Canon and the Striker, I think it was. They came in like little Antec branded boxes. Would have been nice to maybe have a Corsair logo on there, but these are always handy anyway, so. Uh, what else we got? Well, she, as soon as I start with Super Chats, others start. Way hey, happy days. We always like the Super Chats. It does help us out like you wouldn't believe. The other way to help support us is through Patreon, patreon.com forward slash eTechnics. You do get access to early access videos, exclusive behind the scenes, bi-weekly game nights, eTechnics meetups, where you actually get to come to our offices and our studio, have a little look around, and we go camp in a field. Great fun. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff going on. Right, let's get into the build, I guess. The other thing I noticed is there is two USBs and a Type-C on top. Other than that, yeah, here's this little Velcro strap as well. Looks like a pretty decent case, but let's put it down for one second and talk about some of the parts, which right on time, Brandon comes in with a mini ITX motherboard. So B760i Edge Wi-Fi. Uh, so yeah, this will do very, very nicely. So if we go to that, so this is the motherboard. Sorry, it's a bit blown out. We didn't kind of compensate, I guess, for, yeah, white products and stuff like that, but it, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Um, so yeah, MSI, we were actually gonna go with an MSI graphics card, but we found a snag and we will show you what that snag is in a minute. So you can do it actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's gotta give you something to do, right? Uh, so that's that, let me get the processor. I just got a fresh wave of flavor from my 
from your little throat suite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So processor wise, we're going big. So this is the Intel Core i9 14900K. So we're not messing about with this build. We are talking like top of the top, creme de la creme. Um, should be good. So yeah, tiny little mini ITX motherboard, but the color scheme I think works really, really well. The fact that it has got like white on there, silver on there. Admittedly, there's a little bit of red, which I'm not, let's say overly struck on, but I can live with it, so. Right, let's get the processor in. So like I say, Core i9 14900K. Luckily we have got 360 mil AIO, so we're gonna be able to keep temperatures under control, shall we say. So yeah, uh, it does support ATX and SFX power supplies as well. Uh, GPU's up to 400 mil in length. CPU cooler's up to 180 mil, though I think if you get in a case like this, you are gonna use an AIO or liquid cooling with it. Uh, PSU up to 225 mil. So yeah. Right, CPU's in. Uh, what else have we got? Memory. So memory. This is probably some of my favorite memory. And I say it's some of my favorite because it actually came out of my system. We reviewed it not that long ago and I loved it so much and loved the look of it that I actually robbed it from here and uh, yeah, put it into my system at home. This is a Dominator Titanium. These are, uh, yeah, first edition. They actually come with these cool little heat spreaders. If you don't want the RGB, you can change that over. But we do, we want But we RGB. want RGB, of course we do, of course we do. So, uh, who, do who doesn't want RGB? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, talking about fan configurations, 140s take up more room, of course. Um, but yeah, I think we're going with 120s because that's what we've been sent. So makes our choice and our life really, really easy. Dom plats are better. I don't know, Dom plats are nice. These are admittedly a lot, lot taller. Can, can I, I admit something? I think the RGB is better on these. Can I admit something? Go on then. I never liked Dom plats. <gasps> what, any of them? Because they like they changed the design the, a little bit. The originals are uh, they're alright. I never liked RGB ones ever. Okay. Did you like the like steampunk style ones, like the coppery coloured ones? Do you remember them? Yeah, I remember them. No. They're okay. Yeah. RGB ones never liked them. It's the RGB I didn't like. I didn't like just a line of squares. Yeah. So that's why I think these look better because you have got like the whole bar, whereas the squares, I don't know. Our ones have actually started cracking. Mm. They it, and it's a really weird crack. It's not like they've cracked across. It's like a square within the square. Yeah, it's like they have the initial little element for the LED and then there's a casing which yeah. is coming away. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like glue or something like that where it's like glued into it, the Capellix LEDs. That, that's the only thing I can think of without yeah. stripping it down, which I don't really want to do. To be fair, I do need to speak to Corsair and uh, sort of, yeah, talk to him about it. Where are you located? We're in the southeast of England, so just south east of London, really. Um, if you go too far south and you start you know, getting wet, then you've gone too far and you're on your way to France. Uh, what else have we got? Have fun, greets from the CX team. Hello, hello, how are we doing cat frame? Um, so yeah, right, what next? SSD, I guess. Have you got, that's not gonna unscrew that. You need a smaller bit. I put a smaller bit on it. Oh, okay, yeah, off you go then. I'll find the SSD in the meantime. I'm prepared. So SSD, we've got the MP600 Pro NH. Does that I know nothing about this SSD. Uh, <laughs> so again, like a lot of these parts, they came in, they sat there while we were waiting on this case. So I haven't looked into anything, but I kind of like that sometimes when doing live streams because I'm getting to experience it at the same time as you guys, which I don't know, it just has a bit more, it's a bit more genuine, isn't it? It makes more. it feel less scripted. I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah, there but, is no scripting. But when it's like, here's this, I already have notes on exactly everything about it. It yeah. feels more scripted. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, we do script like 95% of our videos, um, our video content, which I'd like to think, I don't know, I've been doing it long enough that some people might not realize that. And it's like, oh my God, you script it? So, you know, there is that. Um, but no, live streams, you know, you can't script a live stream. Things always go wrong. Yeah, we always say that every live stream, and it's like the beauty of a live stream. Yeah, things go wrong. And so, why do they? They always go wrong, don't they? Just so MP600 Pro NH, like that. I think I've just proven my point. I can't even hold a box properly. That was impressive, though. It, I it was. I, I still kind of yeah caught it. So it's a Gen 4 by 4 uh, NVMe SSD. Read speeds up to 7,000 megabytes a second. Write speeds up to 5,700 megabytes a second. IOPS aren't bad either. So 1 million IOPS random read, um, 4 kilobyte, and 1.2 million IOPS on the random write. 
and it doesn't come with a heat spreader that you don't need. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I get why they put heat spreaders in there, but I just don't want one. I get it. Like a lot of brands, they include heat spreaders with their. Admittedly, Corsair do it with like some of their even faster drives. Yeah, oh yeah, like the ridiculous one we have with yeah. the uh, cable. Yeah, with a fan and everything else. So that's Gen 5. But I'd like to think if you're buying a Gen 5 drive, even a Gen 4, and you're spending that sort of money, you're going to have a motherboard that's got a heatsink on it. So therefore, yeah. you don't need it. It's completely, completely I, unnecessary to me. I in think my head. if you're going to do it, you need to have them separate in the box. Yes. I don't like the ones that are pre installed mm -hmm. because then you have to dismantle it to get it on here. Otherwise, yeah, it just is going to look odd. So, and sometimes they're not easy to remove because the adhesives are so sticky. And sometimes the metal is quite flimsy that you try and sort of take it off and it it just doesn't work. So not to name names, we have had that recently. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, cooler. That's where we need to go with things next because we do have Should we get that other this. motherboard out of here? We should, yeah. So you take that. I'll move that. Stop giving advertising to a company we're not using. Yeah. So Cooler wise, um, yeah, we're going a little bit different here. Now I'm looking at the cooler. So for anyone who's not seen our live streams and doesn't see the way that I do builds, I always like to build up the motherboard as much as I physically can first. It just makes sense because even though with that case, you have got kind of full access from various angles, it just makes life a lot, lot easier if you can build up as much as you can on the motherboard. So you're not holding things and trying to screw things in and do this, that and the other. So when it comes to the cooler, it won't go in before the motherboard, but sometimes you have to look at, depending on if you're using AMD or Intel, what kind of bracket it comes with, and you can actually pre-install the bracket. So again, you're not having to lean around the back of the system, holding the back plate on, or trying to screw something inside a case. It just makes life easier. So IQ Link H150i RGB. All the stuff that we're using from Corsair in terms of RGB is all part of their Link ecosystem. So they've changed things up a little. Uh, instead of you know going down the route with a Commander Pro and stuff like that, everything is IQ Link. It's my first time using IQ Link, so should be interesting. Just it's some our washes. first time opening this cooler. So yeah, there's the I -Link, uh, IQ Link cables and stuff. So we'll is talk it, about that. With it. Is it our first time opening this cooler? It might have gone to Pete for a review first because it's just random washes. I here think it everywhere. might have gone to Pete first. Yep. Here's some oh, washes. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. I think everything's magnetized. What? Is, what? <laughs> They're just oh, everywhere. Oh no. But this is really cool. So I hate it when you have to install fans on a radiator. <laughs> yeah. It's just one of the things that it takes ages. It's still horrible. stuff falling off It's it. so magnetic, like stupidly magnetic. There's one in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> so where the fans are magnetic, it is stupidly strong. So these are the new fans as well, which obviously do link together, a bit similar to the Lian Li Uni fans. And you can see how magnetized they are. So yeah. I told you live streams, things go, uh, things go all right. Um, but yeah, we've got the white fans on here, ARGB, uh, obviously RGB on the sides, RGB on the front. I really like that. And this is like glossy as well, which is really nice. And do you want to see the even cooler thing? The even cooler part of the cooler, once I get this out without breaking anything, is, no, this is the first time, like the paste hasn't been used okay. or anything, but the connections. So you've actually got connections on the radiator itself. That's what I was actually looking at earlier. There's a screw here too. <laughs> That's what I was looking at So earlier. I'm guessing this actually connects into that block and then you basically just go off this block and yeah, I really like that. So we're gonna put this to one side though. We have got braided hoses on here and everything. There's the current top. We are gonna change that, but. If you like RGB, that looks like a good like top for it though yeah but we're gonna go one further with the whole like screen and everything so oh i found the problem oh the bags the bag is split there we go you can't see it. it's a little bit overblown but take maybe my word for it yeah so we've got our amd hardware we're not using so intel and i really like this as well when we built our um corsair desk that we've got everything came in these new like soft touch bags yeah. yeah they're really nice apart from when they split like that yeah the thing i was wondering is are they biodegradable 
I don't know. You'd hope so, because everything's trying to be these days. Probably. So we're going to need the bracket for the back plate. And then in here, we are on, so you've got 11 5X and 1200, and then we've got Intel 1700. These bags are splitting as well. Right, let's try and do some chat as well. Do, 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 do. Uh, what have we got? I didn't like the old DOMs. These new versions look good. I'm guessing the same spec. Do these Corsair DDR5 still hold best timings to CAS ratio? I'm pretty sure they do. I mean, Corsair are, let's say, market leader when it comes to, um, how many have you got? Uh, well, the rest should be in there. There's two thumb screws. Yeah, I've got another one of them. <laughs> and another one of them. So you're all good for thumb screws. And it's you're all good for them. It actually saves you a job. You don't actually have to open the bag. No, the bag just opens for you. It's, uh, yeah. It's revolutionary. It's efficient. Corsair have, uh, have been efficient. Um, but yeah, the DDR5, which I put down here, I didn't actually tell you guys what the spec was. I know what it is. I told you it was in my home PC. We've got a little label on there and everything. I know what it is. So, what is it, 7200? 72, I think it's... Yep. Go on, what cast latency? Ooh, that's a good question. Have a guess. Do psychic transference tell me through force? Uh, 30, 30 something. Six? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so 36, 46, 46, 116, and voltage is 1.4. These are actually the two 24 gig modules, so we've got 48 gig in this kit. Um, which, yeah, is obviously a way of, I'm finding screws everywhere now, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, it's just their way of implementing different module sizes and stuff like that. So now we've got 4896 and derivatives of derivatives of that. Uh, what else have we got? Um, da, 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 da. Saber Kiss, I will DM you. Um, we are looking, because there's another case that we need to send out. So um, we're looking at sending the cases tomorrow. So they should be with you and the other person by Friday. That's, that's what I'm hoping. So we should be able to get it on like a 48 hour delivery. Uh, what was the tool you used to cut the box open? So that was the handy dandy eTechnics multi tool. So we also sell these on store.etechnics.com. They've got a logo on it. You've got like a bottle opener, a cutter. Um, I think it's like 11 things in one, sizes, um, ruler, all that kind of stuff. So really, really handy. We use it on a daily basis to basically open things up. I had to Google what one of the things was on the little leaflet it comes with. Oh, right, yeah. It was the butterfly something, which was just, this long yep. hole. I had to Google what that was for. <laughs> so this is the motherboard now. We have got the standoffs on there with the back plate and everything. So all tightened down. No. Nope. Yeah, I mean, as much as I could get it with my It's the problem with mini ITX things. as well, like trying to get in there. But when we do the thumb screws, it should be fine. So yeah, we've got everything basically sorted there. We can now look, I guess, at getting this into the case. So there's all the bits. And I have actually noticed in here as well, you know I said about the front panel? If you've got an older motherboard that doesn't have the standard layout for front panel headers, you've got this which will plug in and then it splits off. So you've essentially got like a breakout cable, which is quite cool, which I'm thinking we might have to use here because it's quite close to the PCI Express. But I don't know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get hmm. to it. These are the screws, by the way, that I was talking about for the, for the fans. You can see they're a lot, lot different which is quite cool. So, right, let's get the case back up and uh, we can get the motherboard and everything which into one? it. Is that one the? Yeah. Okay, do you want me to just quickly check? No, that is it. What, it says there. Uh, JTPM. Oh, right. Yeah, the other one's HD audio. So yeah, uh, let's get back to some chat anyway. Uh, duh, 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 duh. No, I was waiting on some extra fans from TT. So we've put in a double pack of 140 mil fans inside the case. Um, so yeah, that's basically good to go now. I just need to weigh it, measure it and ship it. it it's still uh, heavy, but it's not, it, it's not like as heavy. It is significantly lighter than it was. Yeah. So uh, one thing that I have noticed with this case, they have got that little middle standoff, which has got the- Nice. What would you call it? Like, a, it's not a prong, it's, yeah. A point that just basically the motherboard sits on it's and like it allows a you to mini circular shelf. Yeah, <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Uh, it. We didn't actually mention. Um, it's got a little thing here we spoke about yesterday for water cooling on it. Mm. Which thing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So Just down here. the bottom of the case, you have got uh, a little pass through which you can punch out. Put it on for... over there, see if we can see it through that. Yeah. Um, so just in here, you've got this, which you could punch out and you could put a drain port in there. So if you are doing custom loop water cooling, it has got that. It doesn't look like it's got one for a fill port though, which I guess you don't really need. You could just, you know, open it up anywhere and do that anyway. But yeah, it's nice to have a drain port. So they have thought about custom loop water cooling and stuff as well. Oops. Right, let's get this that way and get the motherboard in. Yeah. Uh, while you do that, I'll go through some more comments. So get these cables uh, tucked I'm away. Here, so I'm not forgot it started at two o'clock. Yep. So here we are, looking at the uh, the new Corsair 2500X case. We are currently on main view. What do you think of the new Deepcool Mystique 360 AO? Do you know what? I've I've not actually seen it in the flesh yet, so I'm going to reserve judgment. But Deepcool are really stepping up their game lately, so. Um, yeah, kind of excited about that. Uh, yeah, right. So motherboard going in. Look at that. While you're doing that, where's the other screwdriver gun? I'm going to take these other standoffs off just so it looks a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, fair enough. There's oh, I've got a. <laughs> Can I borrow that? I had a washer Please. stuck to my screwdriver. You got to have a screwdriver down there. So also with the eTechnics toolkit, you do get the little standoff tool. Oh, it's hidden. So you can remove standoffs very, very easily. I don't have the... And it is stupidly magnetic as well. Could you pass me the lovely little box, please? Yep, I'll take that. There's the box of stuff. Thank you. So yeah, if you were doing micro ATX, then obviously you'd keep these standoffs in, but we're not, so we're going to take them out. Deep Core are trying to become a premium brand. Yeah, I'd, I'd say they are. Also, this screwdriver does extend. So like I say, store.etechnics.com, you can get your very own one. And then one more over here. And we're taking that one out. Now you can screw the four mounting points for the uh, mini ITX board in. Make sure they're all lined up. So is the glass and metal part on the right side of the front flat or inward? You mean this bit? Like here, this is completely flat. So like completely flat. I'll turn it around in a minute and you'll be able to to see, I guess. Um, so very much like the top, it's just flat. I think, right. Get that in. I think you can actually use the little shelf one still as Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. You can still screw into this one. Yeah, so this is the one that actually holds motherboards in. So you don't have to do it laying down like this. You can do it vertically if you're using like a bigger motherboard. That went well. <laughs> yeah, messed it up. There we go. There's a taller version of this case as well. Yeah, the 6500 series. So yeah, that's obviously going to support um, bigger motherboards, more radiators, more fans, all that kind of stuff. And just check that they're all nice and tight. Cool. That all one good. Is good. Happy days. Yeah, good. So. I think if we look at the power supply next, purely because even though we have got quite a lot of room here, if we're putting the AIO in the top, we are going to be somewhat restricted by getting the 8-pin EPS power connector up here. And I'd rather just get that sorted first. Um, yeah, and then we can do front panel and then we can do cooling. So let's have a look at the power supply. If you wouldn't mind taking these and putting them in the little box so they're spare. And then what we'll do is move the case and we can start talking about the power supply because this is really, really cool. All right, so if you move that out of the way. So the power supply that we're using is the RMX Shift Series. So what we've essentially got is a 1,000 watt um, ATX 3.0, as exclaimed there. Um, but it's very, very different because the power connectors are actually on the side. So this is my first time opening this as well. So this is a first for everything. That might as well just be thrown because we don't use European connectors. I hope that picked up that noise on camera. <laughs> so when you look at this, move that out of the way. Uh, do you want to get all the connectors out that we're going to need? Aye, aye. There you go. So if we open this up. Cheers for the links there, uh, Jacob. If you use a bigger motherboard, do you need to take the 
take off the standoff as well? Will they get in the way at the back? No, no, I can't see there being any issues there. So this is the power supply. So typical fan on the top, power on the back. But then on this side, we have nothing because it's actually all on this side. So very, very interesting. Don't forget the... And I don't think we can use that cable either. Which cable? The cable. Oh. Because it's type five cable sets only. Oh, interesting. And it should come with a direct cable. Okay. So, yeah. So be an ATX 3.0, um, obviously it conforms to all the standards for transient load when you're using a high-end NVIDIA graphics card. So it can basically do double its wattage for a certain amount of time. That's part of the ATX 3.0 standards. Thank also you. on top of that, which isn't part of the standard, but every power supply manufacturer is doing it now. Um, typically, uh, you'll see 12 VHP WR being added. I am interested to see if this has got it. Has it got 12 VHP WR? Don't know. Do we need SATA? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe for the IQ link stuff. Maybe. Oh, anyway. Yeah, I would, just in case. I mean, with the power supply being so accessible, it's not like it's going to be a hassle to no. plug in. No. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see if it comes with 12 da, 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 da. It does. Interesting. Now that. And that actually plugs actually into lighting. two. So what we've got here is 12 VHP WR on one end, and then it's got these two connectors which go in here and here. So that's going to be supplying now up to 600 watts worth of power. I only need one CPU cable. I don't even know what this is from. <laughs> Just that finding out, random. That came parts. out of the bag for the link thing. Oh, for that thing. Oh, okay, cool. I'll stick it back in there for now. I fear this is going to be a pretty complex one in terms of connections and connectors and stuff because well, of no, IQ link. In theory, it, it should, should be, be easier. Do, 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 yeah, because it's all like daisy chainable and stuff. So yeah. that should be easy. But I just yeah, know I with any RGB, you're always going to have, yeah, sort of roots in your head as to how you're going to plan things and what's going to connect into everything and stuff like that. So how much PCI? Connecting... How much PCI do you need? Well, it's a thousand watt power supply. So I'm you guessing got, what there's four. There's one, two, three, four, five cables. Oh, okay. Quite a lot then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of them are. No, no, okay. That's got two on it. So, yeah, Welshy, you on. were um, saying about the connectors. Yeah. So, you can see the size difference between them. It's, I mean, this has got eight pins, this has got eight pins, um, and then this has obviously got 12 plus the mini four. So, um, yeah, I've, yeah. The I've, cables feel really good quality as well. I've never seen a Type 5 connector before in the flesh. Yeah. So, we typically use Type 4 connectors, but yeah, these are Type 5. Um, but can you actually see the difference between them two as well? Oh, wow. That is... Yeah, so if I put the overhead on, you guys can probably see the thickness. This is the 12 VHP WR. This is a normal one. You can see the color difference. This as is well. more like rubbery. This is more yeah, glossy. Yeah, you can see the, the tech. If I do that, you can see the texture difference because mm. the way it's reflected. If you turn it on the side, you can actually see how thick it is in comparison as well. Like, you know, that's thickish, but that is like, yeah. A lot, lot thicker. That's a, that's the big chunk of special. <laughs> so let's get the power supply all sorted. Um, the main thing I want to do is yeah, get that eight-pin connector into the case just so that's sorted. Yeah. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna untie these. I'll leave the SATA as is for now. Mm. I love builds where all you really need is. This. There you go. I've got. Three cables. That's all. That's all we really need. Yeah. Um. I think the yeah the IQ link someone's put it requires a six pin, so we don't even need SATA. Six pin. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Pisa Express six pin. Oh. So nice and easy there. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. I uh, got two PSUs here that have that cable. It does feel better than the rest of the cables. Definitely. Uh, it's insulation to stop it catching fire. Someone's been watching a Verge video. <laughs> Insulation. It's like, what are you insulating against? It makes no sense. So, yeah, I'm wondering actually what they've done with the rails now. They're off the rails. Yeah, so they've they've gone back. Well, it's really weird because what power supply manufacturers do is they like have one 12 volt rail, then they split it to like two, then four, and then every other brand is like, oh, they're doing it, so we're doing it. So now Corsair are back to doing one 12 volt rail. Um, so yeah, you watch. Everyone else now is just going to have a single 12 volt rail. So yeah. There's a peel. There is a peel. Do you want to do the honours? Yeah, it's quite appealing. I feel like they need like a tab to... This could take a while. All, 
all peels need a tab, I think. Yeah. This is quite difficult, actually. It's annoying because it just looks like I'm scratching the hell out of it. Luckily, it is just the pill. Not the nicest pills I've done, I have to say. There we go. Yeah, no, but I, I've, off, I've had nice. better pills. Better pills. Definitely. Banana peels. Yeah. Right, let's get the power supply in and get the cables in to the case. Yeah, I don't even want to attach them now because no. I want to see what it's like to not. Yep. I mean, we should have enough room because it's the shift power supply with the connections on there and we're going to take the hard drive cage out. It should actually be quite easy. So if we turn this round that way, what I need to do first is actually remove this hard drive cage. Yeah, which is completely not visible. Yeah, so I'm just taking that off. This is where the hard drive cage is. Can I have a PH2? Just take the whole screwdriver. Oh, okay. Let me take that one. I feel like I'm in surgery. It's like give you a tool, you give me a tool. So We're both doing different surgeries on the same guy though. One screw. <laughs> take that one off. Oh no, I've taken off the... Have I taken off the wrong one? No. I have taken off the right one. So yeah, it looks like there's three screws or two screws. And then, yeah, the whole hard drive cage comes out. So we don't need that, which is gonna give us a lot more room for our power supply. We can then screw this back on. So I'll put these screws, they're gonna to have to be screwed back into that. Otherwise I'm gonna lose them. Thank you, sir. So number one in there. And number two. I would read some of your messages in chat. You can't, can't see them, can you? I can't see a thing. So yeah, I didn't actually need to take this screw out, so that's going back in. Again, there's two screws like holding this top bit on, but I don't think it would actually come off. Because it's if it even needs there. to. No, I don't think it needs to, so I'm sure there's reasonings as to why, but for the um, life of me, I can't see why at the moment. No, even even the like access to these things or the I/O these things, access to all the I/O is like the screws holding it in is below it. So yeah, yeah. so I'm going to turn this on its side and then we can do it from up above. So that might be a little difficult, just because it might flop down. But we'll see. Should be okay. I mean. Yeah, once we like screw it into there, which it looks, okay. You know how I said it um, supported oh, SFX? This is, that's, this is the SFX one, I see. Yeah, yeah, so if we unscrew this, it's actually got a bracket for the SFX power supply. Oh, hang on. Already pre-installed. Ah, that's how that bit comes off then. That's interesting. So if we take this off, like so, this is the bracket that you'd use if, uh, yeah, you was going with an SFX power supply. We are not, so we can take that out. We can take the, uh, what did the Verge call it? The brick? The brick. I can't see anything right now. And screw it down. Also, for the place. record, when we said, oh, that's how you would do, do that, wherever it was. I noticed there seems to be little pins on the back. It seems to be a sliding deal for this. Let's see if I can actually do that. Uh, I need to unscrew it first. Oh, I won't do that. <laughs> so let me screw this in. And then you can see how much room we actually have for the connections to go into the power supply, which is quite nice. You could fit sandwich in there. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad area, and obviously you've still got this area as well, where you typically have room for um, power supply cables. Yeah, and you can get a Subway sandwich in there. What, foot long? Um, to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't get Subway anyway, so... Ah, it's all about Quiznos. So, uh, that's in. Right, let me unscrew this and we can show everyone what we're talking about. So if we bring that down... Do -do -do -do. So this is the top panel, isn't it? Yeah. So the top panel, you unscrew there, unscrew there, and then push. I've just pushed it back. And then off. But, the one the front, but I don't know why you'd want to. There's, it's now sealed here. Okay. I still don't know why you'd want to do that though. 
What's over there? I didn't see. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, you've got I mean, two little things for you can see there. cable management things. But you could still you can already access them from this inside. So I yeah. I don't know. I'm a little bit. I don't know. Maybe perplexed. Maybe the they're gonna go down the route of you could get a replacement color panel. Maybe, maybe. you could get wooden ones. I, I, I don't know. I don't think Corsair would go. Do, oh my god, they have actually got a wooden version of this case. <laughs> so okay, yeah. Customizability, I suppose. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Is that the? I'm, I'm just having a look through their reviewers guide to see if there is. There's yeah, the same thing on the front panel. I just noticed as well. Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. I don't understand why, but yeah. I do love these reviewers guides because it is, there's just a lot of marketing stuff in there. Uh, there's the panel kits. <laughs> I haven't read this. <laughs> so with this case, you can actually take the front off and then you can replace it. They've got like a chrome one, black, and three different grain styles of wood. So you could actually change this, this whole panel and have like a wooden one or a silver one or a black one. So, all right, that's pretty cool. I like that. Where's the RGB one? Well, just the what, whole just the thing, whole thing. RGB. To be fair, I reckon, I don't know, I think it would be a good idea if they gave you like the schematics, like the size mm. and everything. You could just make your own matrix panel or 3D print something or... That's yeah. a good point. Where's the massive screen panel for both of them? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that'd be quite cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Very, very interesting. They need um, to they need to do a big screen because that would sell a lot. So that explains the front. And it says customize your PC with the case panel kit to match your style. These panels are available in five different finishes, but it only shows the one with the logo. It doesn't show the top. I mean, presumably it will come with, it's called a kit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably just, just showing the logo one because that's got the logo on it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. What was, so, that, what um, was that thing just above it? There's just the, the well, that uh, yeah. rapid route retro, um, fit kit so it's just for cable management okay uh, and then yeah they've got the vertical mount kit which does come with the riser cable which is a pcie 4.0 riser there's also a 2500 series glass conversion kit these are all sold separately uh there's a, a motherboard cable cover as well which i'm guessing is if you're using a mini itx motherboard you can just cover over that so yeah they've got a few little added extras and stuff yeah so it's it's that is heavy like really really heavy well that's where the weight is <laughs> Let's, should we take it off for the rest of the build? Just <laughs> no, because we've got to get them panels in. So, But that is, like, That is solidly... solid. What? That's steel, maybe? I mean, I'll try and... You cannot bend that. That is where all the weight is in them two panels. What would you say? Steel? Oh, yeah, that is definitely steel. Right. So, let's get this back in. Come on in. Yep, they're all in. Cool. And then I can screw them back down. That's really easy, though. It was. So, I mean... Beyond the reviewer's guide, obviously, there's a lot of, um, let's call it marketing gump or bump. Or gump was the exact it. word I was going to use. <laughs> marketing gump. Um, yeah, and it, it does go through the whole like DIY friendly, blah, blah, blah. But I actually kind of believe that now. This is, yeah, DIY friendly. Yeah. Right, do you want to get the cables in and I'll go through some more chat messages? Yeah. I can't see the cables right now, but. So, yeah, obviously we need the front panel ones and we need the ones that you're currently crushing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, what we got? You know, that would make it easy to paint them if you wished. Yeah. I, I think there's like a lot of possibilities with like modifications to this. And Hydro dip it. Yeah. Super glue your anime sandblast figures to it. it. Yeah, you could sandblast it. Uh, what we got? I'm trying to do this left handed when I'm right handed. Uh, I wish cases still had hard drives for optical floppy drives. I just people don't still use them, do they? I just realised a problem. What's that? I've never used this before. I don't know where they go. In the PCIe one. It's so, really so, awkward. Can we bring this over? Well, now so I can't see, can see anything. There you go. Uh, right, what we got? Uh, PCIe CPU. Wait. I do like PSU mm. position in dual chamber cases. Uh, so do I. You know, it's out of sight, out of mind. I still stand by it. A power supply is like the unsung hero of a PC, right? I have to admit, that's a nice looking case, even though it's white. They do it in black. Um, so, you know, there, there is the what ability mean, to change that. What do you mean, even though it's white? I mean, it's, I think it's nice and white. I quite like that. We are getting the 6500 series and we're getting that in black. So, okay. at least then, yeah, we've we've seen both varieties, I guess. Uh, 
Apparently I'm taking my top off. I didn't think it was what? that kind of stream. That's reserved for the Patreon live stream. So uh, yeah, if you're not signed up, patreon.com forward slash eTechnics. This computer case is not yet available in Finland. So I have got the European pricing on it, so it should be available soon. Let's have a look. Europe, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, China, Australia, Japan, South Korea, Southeast Asia. No mention of Finland, it just kind of encompasses under Europe. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing it will be available next couple of days. It's only released now, um, 55 minutes ago. So yeah, who's the old guy we're watching? His name's Brandon. Hello. Uh, <laughs> My aging voice. Gadget Joe, how are we doing? Good to have you here. Get some quarter inch sanded plywood and a can of varnish. Let's fully cure before plugging in the 12VH PWR to avoid spontaneous combustion. Yeah, I've still never had a problem with 12VH PWR. I mean, no, I haven't no. bought a cable mod adapter, so that's part of it. I've used actual cables and every time I plug it in, which, I mean, recently plugging in and out graphics cards, I've probably done it like 30 times a day in the last couple of days. Yeah, hundreds of, of times. And every single time it goes in, it clicks. I've never had a problem, not one. Okay. What time is this case releasing? Um, as far as I know now, so the NDA was set for 2 p.m. I believe it's available to buy now. So you say we need that? Potentially, so. Should we check that first? before we go plugging in cables we don't need. Nah, it's fine, we'll plug that in after. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> we'll plug it in now and we can just always remove it. So. Uh, what else we got? Retro build, white case, black trim, or other colors and redesigns. I, I think they're actually onto something here with that. Um, it would be interesting to see if you could 3D print something, but I don't think they'd go down that route. What fans are you using? They're the QX120's RGB, uh, which we will go through very, very shortly. Are we done? Yeah, I think so. Eight pins in? The, yeah, I tangled it down. Oh, okay, cool. You would need a big printer for the top panel. You would. I have a printer. No, I got rid of that one. You have the big printer. Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've still got the big one, yeah. All right, so eight pin in. Now we don't have to worry about that with the uh, with the radiator and everything. Do you want to do the front panel stuff? Uh, da, da, da. I'm just actually... My normal method of cable management has been no one's going to see this side. It's, it's fine. Yeah, but we we spoke about the power supply. We kind of have to. Do we? I feel like this. There we go. The motherboard wasn't in properly. Was it not? No, this was like up here. So I've just pushed it in. Oh well, it wasn't. Don't worry. No one knows. It wasn't lined up when I screwed it in. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, front panel connectors. You mean the front panel connector? And the HD audio and the USB and the USB. Do we have to do HD audio? I mean, we don't have to. It'll look cleaner. So, uh, right. What else have we got? Uh, don't like da, it. Da, da. Andy, get in that gym and get that pump. I swear, I've got a gym in my house and I just, yeah, don't use it. So. What's my best course of action? Oh, you can see the power supply behind the motherboard. That's why they sell that cover, which is... Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, so you don't see the power supply. It's fine. The focus will be like on the massive graphics card that's going in there. So. Yeah, it kind of blends in a little bit, though. Yeah, it's going to end up like a B&Q kitchen, buying modular and separate pieces instead of a set unit. No, I mean, this is a full case. It's like, you know, good to go as it is. It's just if you want to take it one step further, then they're giving you the ability to do that. Yeah, that one. Hi, Andy. By the way, the lower part that is flat fans are with metal. I think we need to Dremel that. That was one of the flaws of the dynamic, almost zero airflow on the lower part. I'm guessing you're talking about the fans on the AIO, I'm guessing? Don't know, a little, little bit confused by the by the question. There we go. Me neither on the NVIDIA plug after 20 pieces, never burnt one. Yeah, exactly. It's available now, Amazon had them for pre-order. Happy days. Have they sold out or are they still available to buy? Let me know. I'm rocking a 4000D airflow case. I got the 4000X. They are really, really good cases, but I think I'm actually going to change to this, though I fear it's going to take up more room on my desk. They've matched the grill pattern all the way around the case. Something that has been bugging me with most cases is mismatch. Yeah, um, so you didn't see it at the beginning, but. Okay, this is the whole side panel for the right side of the case. It's just all ventilated with the triangle design. Oh, I just noticed that as well. It's actually got a nylon filter there. 
so you can remove the nylon filter then it's got this filter as well so you've got a fine one and then a removing the filter might be a problem no you just literally do all of these that's pretty typical of Corsair so I, don't, I don't like the idea of having to bend. do that though yeah, yeah. can we oh, just I get it though can we all agree this suck? This cable sucks. <laughs> yes, yes we can. Yeah, it's it's the worst cable in history, definitely. And I mean, the Type C one isn't much better. No, I think I don't, I don't mind this Type C one, but I wish it was parallel to the motherboard, and not just sticking up. Yeah, I also wish it was like a ribbon cable and flat. Yeah, yeah, it's probably to do with I don't know. Heat, maybe that's why it's we, a little bit thicker. We did recently a case that has a ribbon one. I don't mm -hmm. remember what it was. Oh, okay. oh, so it is possible then. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it's just easier for manufacturers to use the existing types. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not doing HD audio. So, um, yeah, for anyone to. who missed it at the beginning, we aren't using 2.5 inch drives. But if you wanted to, they've actually utilised this space really, really well, where you'd have rads. So yeah, you've got that. Um, speaking about like fans, mm. just out of interest, we're going to do rad in the top. Mm. We've got six fans in total. So we've yes. got three at the bottom, four, five, one in the rear. Cool. I'll get on with them. Cool. So fan wise, this is what we're using. You don't like the box, do you? No, I hate this box. Why? It's too long. I like it though. I think it like, I mean, look, hear me out here. So. Brandon doesn't like this box because it's too long. I guess a typical fan or a triple fan, it would be something like that, right? Yeah. So it would be much smaller. But, I mean, they can't see it because you're standing in the way, but. Well, I mean, there's also a case coming. That looks over. nice. You know what I mean? Like that, that stands out. That will look really nice on my OnlyFans wall. It, imagine you go to a shop. The staff will hate this <laughs> because instead of loads of different ones stacked next to each other. They've got this on the shelf. S staff in retail stores are not going to enjoy this box. I mean, when was the last time you went to a computer retail store? And this is why they're like that. Because look, they're already attached. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how they detach. Sliding. Ooh. Oh, it actually, so yeah, it is magnetic, but they actually pull apart, and then you've got these little connectors. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, that's why it's in the box like that. So look, you could showcase that on the shelf like that. I might actually do that. I might light them up and have them over there. I still don't like the box. Some people just picky. No, no pleasing me on this one. Picky, picky, picky. Right, that can go in the bottom. <laughs> that's so easy. Oh, it's got to go backwards, doesn't it? You know what I mean by backwards? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Here's what it is, though. Ooh. Oh, look, they have tabs. I was going to say, ooh, look at the RGB. Yeah, yeah. So look, these ones have actually got tabs. Oh, that was that was a pleasant one. This one, not so much. I <laughs> spoiled on the last one. Have they got them on the other side as well? I'm guessing they do. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we don't need to worry about that side right now, but you do you. Longer, thinner boxes are a big win. I'd sooner that than hundreds of square boxes I've got of fan trays. See? Joe agrees with me. Joe agrees with me. So, yeah. Thank you, Joe. I don't agree with Joe, though. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> I'm with Brandon. Looks horrible. So that's that's sort of two all at the moment. Um, yeah. hmm. Where, what placement do we want? Kind of toward the front or the rear? Show the people what I'm talking about. Show the people. Kind of central. Okay. Yeah. Central is where where you want to be. Yeah, I need to be on the bottom for that. Yeah, there is a dust filter here somewhere. Does it come up from the front? It does. Oh, look at that. I like this as well. Single dust filter. The amount of brands who have like multiple dust filters, I don't like it. Look at that. I'm actually seeing what else you get with these. So okay, you get the little stoppery things to put in. You get fan screws. You get. Why is it still micro USB though? <laughs> it's kind of a really inefficient fan because all the air goes through it. We have. Okay, that's the six pin connector for the hub. Yeah, okay. 
So, and then you get the cable as well. How many... This is very Apple-esque, I have to say. Isn't the point that you only need one of these hubs, right? Or do you have Up to have multiple Up to a certain hubs? limit, I believe. Okay, what's the limit? I don't know. <laughs> we should find that out. We should. No, no, this is really Apple-esque. It's, like, it's got like a little tab on it. So, yeah. <laughs> Weird. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, but you do like Apple products. I do. Not all Apple products. I don't like Macs. So, so yeah. Does anyone know how many devices you can actually hook up to uh, IQ Link? It's got to say, right? If you can let me know, that'd be grand. Daisy chain up to 14. Happy days. We only need like one hub. So we'll put that one back. We'll use that one. Does that connect to it? That, yes. Uh, does that just count as one device? Sure, why not? I'm guessing so. <clears throat> well, yeah, the cough is getting stronger. I need the other fans. Okay, so need to turn this. I love I love the chat. It's like fourteen in total, seven per channel, and it's like six or seven, twelve. <laughs> it's just I don't know. I don't know which side to put it on. This side, I think. Yeah. Just go around the front and don't block the camera. Just want to make sure the cables are all right. Hmm. Where is the best place to get tech advice and help? Definitely the eTechnics Discord. So Who yeah. asked that? Um, someone who's already on the eTechnics Discord. Oh, <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, am I using the new fans that are included? Oh, the new fans crews, yeah. Yeah, yeah might as well. I might as well. Those. So Brandon's going to attempt to put these fans in without blocking the, uh, the camera. Means I'm going to have to do it with my weak hand. Take my strong hand. Already weakened by it. Oh, I don't have to reach over. Because you can just reach straight into the case because it is so open and clear. Yeah. Is that about Sandra? Yeah. Yeah, about there. Right. How are the new fan screws? I mean, it went in really quick, but it's yeah. still kind of tough for a brand new fan. Yeah, of course. So, what else have we got in the chat? Uh, da, 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 da. E Technic Shill. Who's an E Technic Shill? I mean, I'd like to think I am because, you know, I own the company. The camera's going to be knocked over, I think. It's actually further away than where you think it is. Yeah, hang on. It's like. At arm's length, I can't touch the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So, so don't worry. I just built my PC, but it's not turning on. Head over to the Discord. We have a tech support channel. Post it in there. You will get help straight away from someone. So, yeah. Um, so, what do we think? Do we like the screws? I want to try one now. I left uh, deliberately that closest one just there for you. Uh, okay. So you'll I mean, be like, it's tough. They are interesting. I mean, they they've like they've got a thread, but the thread is so wide on it, it sort of spirals up like a helter skelter. Yeah, you're gonna get like one turn in, and you're gonna be like, oh, I'm done. One. Two. Wow. Game changer. Game changer. I feel like I need to make a video just on these screws. <laughs> I don't know how well that video would do. We could easily make like a short. We could, yeah. Corsair have just, you know, changed the game when it comes to screwing in fans. Corsair have screwed the competition. You can't be a shill for yourself. I beg to differ. <laughs> oh, I, I just said the perfect name for it too. What? Corsair screwed the competition. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Could we make a whole video on screws? A whole video? Uh, if it's like five minutes, maybe, but mm. it probably works better as a short. I don't know. I reckon I can make a video out of that. Especially if we titled it Corsair Screwed the Competition. Yeah, it's the, yeah. that's the perfect name. Right. So the problem is we've got Gadget Joe and Welshy in the chat right now. They're going to go frantically try and script something. <laughs> so don't worry, we'll have it out by tomorrow. Well, actually. <laughs> We <laughs> we could have that out, we out by tomorrow. We said live that we plan to do that, so we have right now the evidence that we thought of it first. Yeah, yeah. I will sue you. <laughs> and then like a barrow screw or a torque screw, similar to what you find in wardrobe fasteners. Similar, definitely. It's it yeah. does look IKEA esque. Mm. Yeah, completely agree. I tried to see if the power supply, if it's working, it's working, but when I try with a screwdriver too, it's not working. What? Where are you putting said screwdriver? I have, I have to ask that. In, in quarter of the time, I'm it's done in. with it. Yep. All right, we need two more in the side then. 
Well, actually, you know what? I didn't consider. What? That is something I've never had to consider in the same way before. Mm. Where are the cables going to go into the fans? Because they can only go into... This end. There's one there, and then it can just go through that slot. Oh, is it free on... There's the thing on this end? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no. these fans actually come with like these little blocks. That's you what put I was them in, to say. and then that allows it to basically, because you think right, that sits in straight. If you didn't have that in, we that would go in, but that could like yeah flex and move. I'll show you guys on camera. So you see how that can like flex and move, and you could actually break the connector. So what they do is they just give you this chunk of plastic, goes in there. And now that can't move anywhere. It's like something so simple, but yeah, I like it. Right, that's for the side. Okay, the urge to cough is too great. <laughs> Should I leave the room or just go in the corner? Ah, you'd be fine. All right, I'm gonna go in the corner. <coughs> so, Jesus. Ah, oh. what else we got? Uh, I'm guessing he needs to bridge the power pin on the motor. That's what I'm guessing. I wouldn't use a screwdriver for it. I'd use a paper clip if you haven't got a 24 pin with the thing that normally comes with um, liquid cooling pumps. I wouldn't make a video about screws unless I was being paid to. I said, this is a game changer. It would be a really short video, but yeah. Right. Where are we at? Other fans? Yep. Cool. So they're being screwed in from this side. There you go. You guys can actually get a better view of this if I move that like that. And a better view of me. No one wants to see that. Well... <laughs> It's gonna be interesting to see how this actually all looks, the IQ stuff. I've, I've not seen any of it, so kind of really interested. While he's doing that, I am gonna prep the screen. Do these fans have thermistors on them? What? Looks like it. So they can actually, because that's on the outside, so it's measuring the temperature of the air. So, astonishing RGB lighting with 34 LEDs, daisy chain up to 14, exclusive time warp lighting mode, Proprietary magnetic dome bearing and a built-in temperature sensor. Yeah. Wow. How much are these? I don't know. I'm guessing they're not cheap. But I can see why they're not cheap as well. So this is the uh, IQ Link LCD screen AIO module. So it's actually going to replace the RGB block that's on here with a full-on screen. This also comes out. Oh, okay. Cool. So this has just got a proprietary connection which Quite nice, they actually are spring-loaded pins, so you can't damage it too easily, I guess. Other than that, in here you get a USB header to splitter cable. You also get a Type-C to USB 2.0 header as well. Just gonna so, rotate let's... this a bit to make a little bit more space. There you go. Maybe you can so kind of see that. what I'm doing. Actually, uh, what, what are you working on? That. The AIO. Uh, if I just move this out the way, mm. should we do overhead so people can kind of see what we're doing with the fans? We can. So, so my job should be very easy. He says, I believe this just pulls off. It does. So yeah. So this whole thing just literally pulls off. You grab the screen. And then that one. So it has little pins or little lugs basically, so you can't mess it up. He says. Yeah, just pops on on all sides, clips on like that. Happy days, done. Nice and easy. We now have an LCD screen. Mm. So we can peel this off. Yeah, I, know, I really like this. That was just super easy. I do need to take the rest of this off though. Okay, I just, I just screwed in the, this one all the way. Yep. And what I did was I had the eTechnics logo facing me when I started, and when I finished, it's facing you. So it is a half, half a turn, half a turn to mm. screw these in. It's a lot easier. PSU only SFX or can ATX? So this case can take both. Um, it comes with a bracket. 
So if you want to use an SFX power supply, you have a little bracket that comes included. If you don't, then you don't use it. So I've made a real boo-boo. What did you do? It's going to be easier for me to take. It's got like protective film on it and it's all coming off in like strips. Oh. So I'm trying. Is it the same kind of protective film that was on the um, Samsung Folds when they came out? I never saw that one. But you, you not hear about that? No. Uh, reviewers were taking a screen protector off because they thought it came with a screen protector installed. Oh, it and was, it was actually part of the screen. Yeah, it was yeah, the yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Well, that's quite a nice little complete little thing. And look at that. This is really bugging me now. It's like there's still some on there. It's it's almost like you know when you're wrapping presents with sellotape and you can just never find the end again. It's not pleasant. I gotta say, despite my initial concern that those screws weren't gonna hold that well, I mean, it's doing fine. It's holding better than this tape. Is it holding out for a hero? I'm, I'm gonna have to let you do it before I, uh, yeah, <laughs> before I throw it. So, right, what else have we got? Uh... I, I think it might just be tape. Yeah, it's just not nice though. That's weird. Mm. So making a video on screws would be quite twisted. Yeah. <laughs> Hello from Moldova. Nice look for Corsair. Yeah, yeah. Some of this new Corsair stuff is like they've really upped their game with it. So see what I mean? It just comes off in like dribs and drabs. I can't see any of it. Oh, it tastes awful. Why? I'm not even touching that now. Why I was just going to hold it. <laughs> So there is... It tastes like PVA glue when I was a kid. There's just lots of little bits of tape and I don't understand why. And it's it's not coming off in like one fell swoop. Corsair. Yeah, Corsair definitely got something wrong here. If you're watching. No tape on this and make it taste less bad. See what I mean? It's just. Yeah. <laughs> that one's not going in my mouth. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. And, and how much? I don't think there's much left, but it's hard to see. There's, there's sticky residue on it. Yeah. Do you want me to just clean it? Nah. It'll do like that. Right, let's get it in the case. Well, there's a, get there's the a huge in. thing on it. You know, what, I might just take this back off again. And just I say that it's if I can get it back off again. There we go. That's quite right. Yeah. So our whole stream is now going to consist of me trying to clean this because of there's still more on it. Yeah, there's a huge bit on it. <laughs> it's just coming off in dribs and drabs. What a lovely AIO we've got. Um, the, ooh, that's interesting. It just looks really strange without the top on it. Look at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking this. i got to admit, I am going to talk to Corsair about this. Because this is, yeah, just not, not a pleasant experience at all. They even have their triangle pattern on the... Thermal paste, as you can see there. I'm trying to fill time while. Yeah, yeah, no, I can see that. All right, so what needs to happen? Um, well, we don't need to worry about the top quite yet. No, no, I'm sorting that. So we can get the screw, the screws, the fans we've sorted out, and the AIO into the case. I got it all up. Hey, but it's just a bit sticky now. It is. So I'm going to bring the case back on the desk. You do that. I'm Here gonna, it is. I'm going to clean this. There it is. All right. So yeah, apologies for the, uh, the delay on that bit. I'm going to start by putting the back fan assembly that I just did back in. CPU wipes. Perfect. Yeah. Jobs are good. Just gotta wait for it to dry now. 
I mean, it's alcohol-based, right? Just blow on it. Yeah. Uh, alcohol-based, just not all alcohol. Right. So, where are you at? Fans are in? Yep. So, we need to get the rad in the top? Yep. We can sort that out in a minute. Yeah, that's a lot, lot better now. Probably want tubes at the front, don't we? Probably. Yeah. That way we can have the cables hide this way because that's yep. where the... Yeah, no, that works. That'll work. So, do, 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 do. have we got more of them screws? They're not going to work on that. No, they're not going to work on this. So we need radiator screws. Do you need washers? Do we need... Uh, I mean... Could do. Yeah. Okay. Can so all the screws in that fell into the case, into the box. This is it's, difficult. So it's just easier to use the screwdriver to get them. Eh. Here we go. Getting somewhere now. Well, if we wanted to, we could stick it right at the very back, but I don't particularly want to do that. We've still got to put a fan in the back as well, haven't we? Yes, there, you're right we are. We should probably do that first. Uh, no, we'll do this first. That's fine. Uh, I have many screws and many washers. Okay. We're good to go? Yeah, do you want to put it on overhead so we can get some semblance of... Well, let me just get that in. There we go. It's a bit out of focus, but... A bit of a blow now, focus, whatever. What are you going to do? So, let's get that one in. The sooner I can stop holding it, the better for my arms. There you go. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think you can see anything on there, so we'll just do it this way. Right. What other stuff we got in the chat? Uh... Quick turn fan screws. I, I guess that's what you'd call them. I'm sure Corsair have come up with a name for them. I don't know what, but yeah, I'm sure they've come up with something. Corsair trademark. Wowie Zowie. No, you can't use Zowie. That's a hardware brand. Wowie Kablowie. <laughs> fan twisty extraordinaires. I'm sure there's a an acronym there somewhere. Oh, I hope not, because I don't know what I just spelled. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting there with the radiator in at the top. Uh, I'll let you do the rest and I'll catch up on some chat. I don't have a washer for this one. Yes, this is E-Technics fiddling with an AR. I was finding screws and washers, technically. So yeah, um, what else we got? Need to, there we go. Corsair is going to make an announcement to not eat the tape like Valve did with the Steam Deck vents. What did they do with the Steam Deck vents? What was it, it was the sniffing thing. Oh, was it like the glue or something inside? It, it was, I don't know what it was, but some everyone was like, oh, it smells so good, you got to sniff it. And Valve were like, please don't. <sighs> Sounds about right. Right, I'm now going to put this back on. If you buy that AIO, seriously, don't try that tape. No. I think I've only got two more yeah. washers and three Where's more screws. Where's the connector on this then? Oh yeah, the connector goes into the rad, doesn't it? Yeah, you can see. Because the cable actually runs up through the braided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see the I was little, looking for it and I was like, where does it go? But yeah. Little white sense. cables there go up the, Yeah. This, which in a way, because they're not super tight fitting because there's a cable in there, it's almost a bit like, um, those mouse cables are really thin. Mm. Yeah. Paracord things. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, put the cable in or you can put it on later for the fan link. Yeah, I've not decided kind of what we're doing yet. I know we are gonna need one of these proprietary connectors to a six pin PCI Express. So I can find that and plug that in now. This is the 
So that's in there. And then that will go. What's this about? That's the stuff for the AIO. Okay. Um, so more cables for the link stuff. I don't have. Do you know, this is the, the worst part though. When we do a build like this and you're taking a cable from one thing and a connector from another, it's then trying to figure out what goes with what. So I'm guessing it's not. Oh no, it is. It's magnetic. Every hub should be magnetic. Should be magnetic. Yep. Well, actually, for our case testing um, rig, which we don't do a lot of case testing here anymore. No, it's quite nice. We <laughs> I hate doing case testing. We have a little um, hub, but it wasn't magnetic. But mm. I, I happen to have double like sticky backed magnetic tape and it's just a yeah. massive strip of it on the back. Yep. Okay, I don't have one of the screws or two washers. There's so, one screw. Well, yeah, but... Didn't you have some washers at the very beginning of the stream? Yeah, I put them in... Oh, okay. But I couldn't find them in there. I looked for them. Found a washer. Oh, where was the washer? Uh, underneath. Oh, okay. So there's that. So I need a washer and a screw. Unless you took it out and I didn't notice. Not there. Oh, I feel something. There's a screw. Okay, just one washer. Washer could potentially be anywhere though, because they were sticking to everything. Watch live the tech searches for a single washer. No, it's gone. We are washerless. No. It's fine. We'll figure it out another day. So, just that one then. Yeah. That was a bit of a shame. Yeah, it was going so well, and then yeah, we've lost a lost a washer. Yes. But what can you do? Four. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, still fiddling. Uh, I thought the housing was magnetic. No, it kind of clips in. I think there is some magnetic elements to it on the uh, on the block bit, but yeah, it's not actually full on magnetic. I'd want a bigger motherboard. So this is Micro ATX. The bigger version of this case, the 6500 series, does accept ATX. To be perfectly honest, when I went to grab this new motherboard, because uh, we had to swap if you weren't there for that, um, it's the only one I could find that would fit that was white. Mm. Okay, so can we connect the bottom fans to these side fans with this cable? Will it reach? I don't see why not. Yeah, so the bottom of this one yeah, to I just need to cut that one in there. It's that side. If not, I've got a longer cable. Uh, does they these go both ways, right? Yes. I would have liked personally. I would have liked maybe mm. a Type C. It's it's a stretch. Oh, okay. Now use this one. So, so yeah, this is the IQ Link stuff. So what we're trying to do now is just daisy chain as much as we can. That will easily go to the back one. What from there to there? Yeah. You think? Uh, maybe. Uh, let me get that back fan in anyway. Yeah, I mean, it will go from the back of that fan there, and then you just have it at the top of this fan. Yeah. And then you just have it right there. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. So we don't need that bit. And then we need our fancy pantsy turbine screws. Oh, that's a good name. Turbine. Can I have a screwdriver? I think they should be called turbine screws. That's it. Oh, this is different to what I expected. I was expecting another right angle one. Oh, no, it's only got right angle on one side. So, afternoon chaps. Hello, Goldberg. How are we doing? Thanks for coming up to Grimsby to help me put the new roof up next week. I'm absolutely positive and looking forward to it. I'm okay. I can't see. Hang on. This is for me more than it is the viewers right now. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Hmm. I'm how loving I... these screws. They're just amazing. How do I hide this cable? 
through here through that little gap will the PC boot without a washer that is the question that is the question honestly these screws are amazing why has no one ever done this until now like so for anyone who's now. just joined I'm about to screw a fan in one screw <coughs> two screws and a smidge just so easy I had to flee it to off camera to have a cough. One, two. Yeah, two two turns. Not even two full turns. Absolute game changer. Uh, I think black and white go well. Yeah? I think the build is looking pretty decent. I would have liked to have used a micro ATX, but not many people make micro ATX motherboards. And I don't think we've got any of this platform. In so, white, particular. Especially in white, yeah. Right, how are we getting on then? I don't think that's hidden too badly. Yeah. If you take a look. Yeah, looks good to me. Right, so then, so right now we've got these three connected to these two, and then we're going to attempt to I can do better. connect. These fit both ways, right? What? The connectors. Yes. Cool. So then that one in there doesn't reach. doesn't reach. I can make it reach. I'm actually just going to drop the fan ever so slightly. I was. I, I would have used the top one. No, I need to connect the bottom ones to... Oh, from that one to that one, you mean? Yeah, from here to here. Oh, why didn't you say so? I, I thought I did. Oh, okay. All right, in that case, I need to take this fan out. Do you? Why? Because the connector's on the other side, isn't it? There's one on both sides. Oh. Okay, right, I'll let you off. See, you learn something new every day. Right, okay, in that case, God, that is tight though. There's a little gap I can get my pinky in. So that's gonna have to go that way. Well, I would say that plugs into that one like that. Yep. Yep. Cool. And then where's the other one? Like round here. So that's gotta go down. That's going to be, I'm going to take the fan out. I can do it. Oh, all right. The student has become the master, apparently. I've got little hands. <laughs> so, yeah, can you access the connector there? We will find out. Like a pro. Well done. Well done, little buddy. So, yeah, it's in. Them connectors are very, very Apple esque aren't they? Like, just in the way that they look and connect and everything. Um. Right, so now we have the whole top of that is connected. Well, that fan is connected to them, so we can run off of the rad into that. That's got two connections on, isn't it? Two channels. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we do that and the rear off one, and then we do the bottom and these two off of another along with the could we AIO I guess could we do, 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 do. what's what's going on around here let me just have a, have a nosy a nosy bonk um, I'm wondering just how possible it is to do one channel and just have everything on one loop you can only do seven on one channel Oh, can you? Yeah, that's why it's got two, so it's four. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, this needs to go <coughs> in... Where there? need to go? Ah, yes. And then that's for USB header, and then... Why is that USB-C, but the other thing wasn't whatever it was, this? Because that's micro, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And the beauty is, because we're using mini ITX, it's probably only got one USB 2 header. It does. So they give you a splitter as standard. So that means we can run Shame that's not white, into the hub. Yeah, no, if that was white, it would be nicer, but I kind of get it, I guess. So, so. There's a really grippy feeling texture they've put on this cable. Mm. So USB. So what? So this has got its little power thing, and it's got the USB-C. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got two little pins. What are they for? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> 
I do not know. So it's got some fun pins for having fun with. Yep. I don't actually know what they're for. Is there like nothing? What's th there's a cable. What's it for? Uh, oh, is that PWM control? It is. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, the IQ Link has PWM control as well then. So if we unplug that. So would this just be in replacement of using this software control? Instead, you use it I, motherboard control. I guess. So, there you go. Right. So that's that. Interesting. So then we still need what, one cable from the AIO from the radiator. So we go with that one. There we go. Where do we go about this? Actually, I'm pretty sure they want you to use the vertical one, just because the tubes kind of get in the way. There we go. And right. That's going to have to come through up. there. Yep. Gump has to be in the dictionary. Oh, I think you're a little bit behind Maxi, but that's fine. I'm guessing he's like coming to the stream, but he's watching it from the beginning. I think yeah. you can do that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah we said you can. Gump. You can. Like right at the beginning, didn't we? Yeah, you can go back. Um, hmm, oh, we? I'm doing a little bit of a thing. So what time are we on? 3.30. But no, we're getting there. Um, we don't need thermal paste because the cooler has some on already. So I'm going to get sorted with that. We learned to check that from our last build, live build. In my defense, I watched a, a certain video before that. And yeah. I thought I needed more. Yeah, you got, you got the wrong idea from someone. What do we think about tubes there? Uh, like that? Tubes. It depends on the context, but well, like that. Mm, I always prefer them at the bottom. Yeah. Right. What does everyone the, think in the chat? It makes the tubes themselves look a bit twisty. It does. They look. I think they look better like that. Yeah. 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 Let's go with that. Yeah, like that bottom looks too stretched. There you go, Joe has spoken. So, Joe, we're gonna go with what you said. Could I have that USB splitter, please? It's there. Oh. Way ahead of you, my friend. That is tight. Right, so, screwdriver. I feel like a contortionist right now. Ooh, that's... Would the AIO tubes be better at the rear now due to the all glass front these days? I quite like it coming down, but I do see your point. We could have hidden them connectors a little bit. But then we would have been, I don't know, we would have had issues with the rear fan connecting in. Also, with how close the tubes would have come down to where the actual pump is, there would have been this big mess of a big loop going on. Mm. I need a coffee again. <coughs> you said you need a coffee. No, I don't need a coffee. You're not really a massive coffee person, are you? No, not really. Even am I, I go through like phases. In the summer, I'm all about iced coffee. I'm changing my plan on this. Okay. I just noticed another little route I could have this cable come through. And I prefer it. So that's screwed down. What are we doing with the AO? We're not tightening it all the way. Yep. <laughs> on any platform ever again. Especially AMD. There we go. So that's in. We're like almost there. And I know that these cables here don't exactly look great, but the GPU is gonna hide it all, so I'm fine with it. That's the other thing. If we put the tubes at the bottom, we would have had problems, I think, with how close it would be to the graphics card. Mm. Especially with the card that we're going with, because there's a fan there. <laughs> the uh, 
Yantek says, mm, coffee. This case is ready for any GPU, no matter how big it is. I know, right? What is the biggest GPU we've got? Lengthwise. I don't know. I think it's a 3090 Ti gigabyte one. I thought the 3090 Ti was slightly smaller oh, than the 40. You know what it could be? The Inno 3D, the pancake one. The pancake one. That like, is, yeah. Yeah, could be that. Right. Either way, we've got our GPU in mind, what we're going to go with, which I think will work with this quite nicely. I have a question. Also, I just want to pick up on Proto's point about if we had the AIO the other way around, the hoses would be like... That's what I said. Yeah, oh, okay. When I said there would be a big loop. Shows how much I listen. <laughs> with the AIO fans plugging to the same thing as this... Mm -hmm which is plugged into this yeah where should we plug this in so cpu fan or yeah okay. yeah because otherwise we're going to get an error on screen anyway saying cpu fan okay where about nothing it? detected it is two six this first one if you pass it through there we go and then Pull. Pull? Yep. That's it. Okay, all cool. we need now is that cable for this combo. Oh, the other combo then, is what I meant. Because they're connected, that but one. they're not connected to this. Oh, okay. So, with that, what we could do is actually... I mean, there's one right here on the top. Yeah. So what, you think thinking joining that into the AI or we're just coming straight out of that? Yeah, we'd have to come straight out of that. How long enough? So yeah, mm, we... uh, what else we've got going on? Uh, I'm off now, taking meds and sleeping. Have fun, good luck all if this case is in a giveaway today. It's not in a giveaway because I'm probably going to keep it for myself. I might even keep it with all the parts that are actually in here. I might actually, no, I think I'm, mm, I don't know. I like white cases, but we're getting a black 6500 and I like full ATX, but this is, Nice. I don't know. So yeah, we shall see. Uh, this is going to be slightly awkward. My body can't handle coffee. <laughs> Isn't the wires blocking the PCI Express slot? It is, but kind of, but kind of not. What you have to do is kind of manoeuvre it around. We will, yeah, get to that. What have I just discovered? Because there's like, um, on a graphics card, there's the gap between, so we might have to sort of get the cables in between that. But we'll figure that out in a minute when we did the GPU. Oh. Yeah, that comes out. Well, that makes my job way easy. Oh, it? okay. That's fine then. Hopefully people can see what, what Brandon's doing because I, I can't figure out what he's doing. All I know is it involves cables and that's why he's doing it and not me. I mean, there seems to be a section of every stream where it's talk time while Brandon ha does his cables. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Need a GPU holder. I think we're gonna be all right. The graphics card we've got is is thick with like seven Cs at the end of it. It's like T H I C C C C C C C C. And then a K. And then a K. Yeah. What GPU? So this is obviously a fourteen nine hundred K. Um, a two terabyte SSD Gen four. Um, so what graphics card do you think we should use? If I drop this now, <laughs> while trying to like discreetly hide it. Uh, the MSI 4090 water-cooled fans would fit the back nicely maybe. I don't even think I've seen them. The cable. The cable man. You're the cable man now. What cable? No, no, he said, he said the cable man. Oh. I think Cable Guy, because there's actually a film called Cable Guy. Yeah, which means that we can't use I that. I bet it's a white GPU. It is not. We don't have a... The only white GPU we've got is a 4070 from like the last genera we like have generation. A, was it for... Yeah. Well, we... We have a 3070-something Vision. That's a 3080, Gigabyte. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I'm meant to be getting one from Gigabyte. But then I would be annoyed. I'm one of these people who like really likes to... 
stick with like a brand. So if I'm using an MSI motherboard, I'd like to use an MSI graphics card. If it's a Zeus, a Zeus, Gigabyte, Gigabyte, and so forth. But yeah, I'm hoping this is going to work because looking at this, obviously it is a white build, but the motherboard has got like accents of gray on it. So I'm hoping it's going to tie in. If it doesn't, then yeah, we're just... Bugger. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Once we get some RGB in there, I don't think it's going to stand out. I know, my voice really <laughs> went... It, it is a chunky boy, though. So um, Right, let's have a little look. We need to get... Um, Slots one, two, and three. Motherboard power in. Yep. Uh, I have a screw. There you go. Thank you. So, yeah, do you see, um, when you were out, out of the room, you can actually vertically mount, like with the kit, the whole plate at the back comes off. The whole plate at the back comes off. So off there, off there, that whole thing comes out. Mm. But then you can't put fans in the bottom. Yeah, I mean that. But that's kind of a given anyway, so I wouldn't expect you to be able to. Everything comes with a compromise. Yeah, although they could probably make um, some kind of a bracket that goes like on top of the fans. Like just to give you that flexibility. You imagine like fans just straight underneath shooting up cold air. I want a vertical mount. Idea. I want a vertical mount the bottom fans. So it's just a big train of fans. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a sore thumb. That's bad. Andy, use a different GPU, please. Wow. They don't like your your choice in graphics card, Brandon. Well, we went for it. So no. No, we went for it for a specific reason. We went for it for a specific reason. We did. We did. We'll talk about what, it in a sec. What, what about this one? <laughs> it's like, could you get any more Gary? Now we have white, silver, and gold. Should we go with that? <laughs> that casing is way too big for an M80X case. Don't blame Brandon. Yeah. Use an AMD GPU, well, she said. None of them are going to be white. What? Actually, do I have a white? Oh, I'm, it might be onto something. I'm just trying to get the Titan back. We have a pure. We do have a pure. What pure is it? It's. Is it like a 76, 77? I think 77. That's too low end. Yeah. Right. Was it? You well, she. Talking to the people. I think. I think there might be some AMD shilling going on here. Yeah. Well, she. You keep talking to the people. I will look for a car. I'll do my best to talk to the people. But talking is my weakness right now. I'm gonna have to not focus on this if I'm gonna talk because. My brain is not in the right state, and I can't read from over here. Uh, yes, actually, I can explain to people. The 4090. We were going to use this one. We were going to use a Supreme X, uh, MSI Supreme X. But the reason we didn't is because we wanted to try to see if we could use these. It's a little power thingy, if you can see that. Comes with a little rubber thing that comes in black or white. We have a white one here, obviously. But it didn't fit because the power cable on the actual GPU was like indented just too much that this wouldn't physically attach. So the reason this was kind of our choice was because it fits like perfectly. So, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Jacob, it's too late to have said what card it is and have checked our inventory. He's already gone. So, whoops. Rather put a Voodoo 3D FX if it was white. I got, I got to admit, I see so many so many different things, I forget what half of them look like unless they particularly stand out. Got any white spray? We're not spray painting it. You know what I just read out? Read out. Mm. Jacob went on the inventory and he told us what one it was. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I spotted it pretty much straight away. Oh, did you? But I wanted to see if there's an NVIDIA one because of the connector and everything. Yeah, I just I explained uh, this. So now we're going to have to take them 12 VHPWRs off and... yeah. Well, she's happy. It's fine. If you get one of these, 
note, it's easier to pull out without the rubber bit on it. Just because you can kind of get your finger in a bit more and actually press the the latch on that one. Easy. There you go. Wow, the amount of frames per second we just lost. <laughs> <laughs> wow, who's shilling now? I mean, what? You go from the top of the end to mid-range. This isn't the this isn't top of the end AMD. Wee, like nearly knocking me out here. I'm trying to get this back in because where it's so low end, it only needs two slots instead of three. Who's chilling now? No, I'm just being proactive. So my biggest my biggest problem is now we're gonna have a big red thing sticking out. It fits with the red on the motherboard. Yeah. It was a sign. Right, I need them cables I need to sort out because they are kind of getting in the way. What cables? These ones right here. I just unplugged you. I don't I don't I don't know where they're meant to go now. Did I but I need to move them so I can get this in. Alright, let's take let's take this cable out. What cable are you taking out? Oh. Right. Be gone. That was loud. Wait. How many connectors does it have? Okay, we have a problem. What? Well, these cables are kind of in the way. Mainly the USB one. How do we do it? Well, you disconnect that. Hold that up there. <laughs> it's yeah. the only way of doing it. Uh. Problem with mini ITX motherboards. Yeah, you got it. Right. I should be okay with the front panel one. Because it's so flat. Because it is so flat. I right, can drop it. How many power cables do we need? Two. Two ugly eight pin power cables. Ugly, chunky, unnecessary. There you go. Use Outdated. the center hole. There is no center hole. You mean for passing them through? I think, yeah, the only way we're going to do it is lift that up like there. And then. Cables don't look great back here because we. You need to take that one through there. We haven't taken full consideration. And that one through there. Okay. Then I go like that. And that is the best it's gonna get if I tilt this around for everyone to see. Huzzah, amazing. My job is done. From Ferrari to Skoda. <laughs> well, actually, with the black radiator from the 4090 Supreme Liquid X24G with white Corsair fans, look good. See, we were actually, initially, I was gonna put a Supreme X in here. But again, it's like gray and yeah, kind of stands out, I guess. Is this the bitter technics all of a sudden? I'm not bitter. You're bitter. All right, where's this going? Um, oh, it's going to look so ugly. <laughs> That's not even me like, yeah, it's just two connectors instead of one, you know? I'm trying something. With... Something I've noticed with these new fan screws is if you're unscrewing just a little bit to adjust the placement of the fans, you have to be really careful not to instinctively twist. Unscrew all of it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like you screw it a little bit, and it's just like, oh, it's come out now. Sounded a little bit wrong. Oh, that looks beautiful. I sense some sarcasm. I mean, like, you, you have a look for yourself. Maybe I will. <laughs> oh, what? What that way? Why did you do that way? Why didn't you go under it? Because <laughs> that would look even worse somehow. I, to be fair, I think both would look bad, above or below. Don't know. I'll I'll let chat decide. I I would vote below because you would see less of the black cable. Okay. It does suit the build. I'll give you that. It's not like we're looking at performance or anything. Right, let me take these back through. Brandon says below, so we're going to go... Below. Sapphire, can you send us a higher tier one of these? Can you take that cable at the bottom? Oh, higher the spec, I should say. At the back. Oh, at the back. Yep. At the back. You're holding the one at the front. Um. 
Where's the other one? Uh, I can't see it. There it is. Pull. Oh. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer. Mm. A little bit. Mm. Jacob says side. It's side. It, it's not even possible. Because it would just end up like, bleh, sort of, yeah. Hang on. I mean, give me some slack. Is there... That looks worse. Yeah, that looks worse. I mean, if we were to do it that way, there's rubber grommets here that the yeah. could have gone in. Yeah, it looks worse. Uh, I think that is the best of what we're going to get. Below looks a bit meh. Top is the best of a bad situation. Below, mm. below. Haven't you got any white pier shoes? No. Probably. Well, but we're using this one now. <laughs> yeah, but no Corsair ones. Yeah. This is annoying, how all of this is like visible. But maybe once the side panel's on it, it might be all right. The video title needs to be changed to the almost ultimate cause. Exactly, it's not ultimate anymore. It's got a 7700 XT in it. Yeah, I... But it is what it is. That motherboard tray's come out again. There we go. See, it wasn't my fault. What? That it came out. I, mean, I don't know why it's come out, but yeah. You said I didn't put it in properly. Yeah, I think it's just a, in a weird angle. No. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of manufacturers, especially when you do this a lot, you realize a lot of manufacturers are just millimeters off. Mm. And then those millimeter differences can make quite the pain. I haven't got the USBs plugged it back in. So, PCI Express. My voice is gonna be sore tomorrow. There, I'll take the other one. It was my hoodie. It was. So, nothing to see on this side, by the way. It's just a absolute mess of cables. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. I'm trying to do something left handed when you're right handed, it's not easy. Right. It's one of the big things. It's like, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I'd probably pick being ambidextrous. Ambidextrous, yeah. No, I completely agree. Mm, pass, pass. Should we see if it lights up? Yeah, go on. The moment of truth. The moment of... Oh. Hooray! Well, we... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it just it, it just needed a moment. Okay, we've got... Well, these fans aren't spinning at the top. Are they not? Neither are the back... Why? Neither is the back one. They're all connected on one system. That is so bright. Even the camera's like, whoa, Ooh. steady here. Okay, why are they not plugged in? They're all running through this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Which... It's plugged into this. So why isn't it turning on? That is the the big question. Let's grab another hub. Just to, you know, soothe my own mind. What's that noise? The pump? Maybe. It is a bit bright. I'm actually going to turn down the camera when it comes to it. We need another six pin for that. Uh, are we not just swapping out the hub? Hmm? We need to power this hub. I want to put in another hub to see oh, if we can get this to work. Both hubs in. Yes. Okay. How about we take out the one we had and just use that? Yeah. Yeah, that works. That'll work. So yeah, the joy of live streams. When stuff doesn't work first time every time. What one was it plugged into? There is a mess. Not these two. Right. So, we're just uh, plugging in another hub, just to sort of see what's happening there. What's this from? That's the HD audio I didn't oh, play in. Oh, okay. 
Which was a deliberate choice. I just yeah. didn't, I don't like them. <laughs> to be fair, I never use audio. On yeah, my exactly. Problem. It's always USB. So like who? Or wireless. If you're not. still USB. Most people aren't using it. And if you're not using it, why would you plug it in? True. I think they should have them so they're detachable. I don't actually know if it is. We didn't check that earlier. What? If it was detachable or not. What was? Don't worry. <laughs> Right. Is this the cable I need? Yeah. Uh, this needs to plug in a USB as well, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough. No. Is there really only one on the... Will box? it turn on like that? That's, I mean, it might. You turn the password back on. Yeah. So that has RGB. So yeah, bear with us, folks. So that is the system on, the graphics card's on. Now we have no fans whatsoever. Did the other hub get powered? No. <laughs> I thought you did that. I'm totally not doing this while the system's on. There we go, now we've got the, those ones are on. Okay. Could it be our cable? What, this one? Yeah, because the USB C. Oh, actually, that, that, that was doing that. What's the USB C for? I don't know. What's that plugged into? That's plugged into the USB. That was just a USB 2 end. Oh, okay. That was plugged into the splitter. Right, okay. So is it. Does it have a hub? I found the washer! <laughs> well done. Does it have a hub built in? I'm guessing you need to plug both of these to power all of that. Because it's so intense, because it's like the pump and everything. But what's the USB for? I'm saying, does it have That a goes hub through to the screen. But so you unplugged, you didn't unplug the USB and the screen went off when you unplugged the thing. Okay. So is it possible it's USB or the thing? It, could that is that a possibility? I mean, a, a clever person would probably read an instruction manual. I'm not doing that. But I am going to check something. If we plug that into there and Why plug that. that hmm? Well, you're on that. Because I'm troubleshooting. That's just how we do. So yeah. <laughs> <coughs> ran away again. Can I have a screwdriver over it? Because the thing. There you go. Now that I've found the washer, I'm going to fix this one screw. Okay, it's still not working. So, so yeah. Turn it on. Turn it off. I've unplugged what you just plugged in. I've unplugged the USB. Turn it back on. I think you're wrong. But hey, troubleshooting, right? Yeah. Yep, it didn't light up. <coughs> Interesting. Probably need to use Corsair fan software to enable all the fans. I mean, they should still come on. The other ones did. At sort of at least. So the big thing here. Plug the machine back in. So these ones are on, and this is connected to them bottom ones. So hmm. I'm going to turn that off. Plug that back into there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to look at the manual. I mean, there is a big sign on here. Don't forget to view the manual. So, I'm gonna, so there is that. I'm going to run away and cough. <laughs> <coughs> so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check the manual. You know, because they sent a white case and white fans and everything, we didn't get to use all our cable kit. No, packs. no. So, let's have a little look, see what it says. Before you start, most newer PC cases include a CPU cutter to allow access to the bottom of the motherboard, blah, 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 blah. Included hardware. 
So yeah, just check in. If anyone wants to read the manual along with me and try and troubleshoot this, that don't, would be great. Don't RTFM us. We're professionals. That's why we don't do that. Install the radiator. Install the pump unit. AM5. Basically do the same, but with different hardware. PCIe power cable. Micro USB 2.0 cable. One TAC cable. IQ link cable. Installing the bracket. Preparing the motherboard. The screws. The radiator. The pump unit. Right. Connect IQ link RGB AIO to system hub. Connect one end of the 135mm IQ link cable with 90 degree connector to the distribution hub and the other end to a QX RGB fan mounted on the radiator. The fans aren't plugged in. <laughs> so That makes sense. That plugs into there. So what we actually need is... None of you caught it. None of you. I pointed at the screen, not at the camera. That one's not going to work. Let's unplug that quickly. Like that. Something like that. Not the prettiest, but you know. That into there. Where'd the other cable go? There. <laughs> I saw the moment on your face where you were like, I, did... <laughs> I didn't even have to read the manual. It just sort of went click. Because it, it came out already screwed in, and I was like, oh, it must be attached somehow. Oh, look, they're now spinning. Yeah. What a surprise. Does that not fit? Behind? No, it wouldn't. I'm a genius! <laughs> While also being dumb at the same time. Come on, though, that looks good. Although I am going to just change a camera setting. Jesus, that's bright. Because now it is Whoa. bright as hell. <laughs> Look at that. You can barely see the colour. Although it Corsair is very mild on their default colour schemes. Mm. That is still very, very bright. Do you need the rear fan? So Proto, we if we put the radiator around the other way, Brandon's gonna demonstrate how the loop would actually how the hoses would go. Show him how the hoses would go if the radiator was around the other way. Oh, if the tubes were at the back? Yeah. Well, going from here to here, they'd be like, ooh. Yeah. How's that? Does that look better? Can we get a, a better look of the RGB? It's, it's difficult. It's still but... very bright. You know what doesn't help? We're shining a light on it. I mean, if we... Oh, I just looked into that light. <laughs> That's at 60. I'm going to drop that down. I'm just going to... Just for curiosity, I'm just going to turn this off. I'm dropping that to 30. Oh, it's all moody. That is very moody. I'm also going to drop this to 30. Look at it. Look at what we have created. Change light to light blue. It's not even in Windows yet. <laughs> we haven't even installed an operating system. <laughs> Looks good, though. I'll give it that. So we didn't actually need the second hub. Let's get this Again, back. I'm not going to unplug this while the PC's turned on. <laughs> Just bring a bit more light back so you can see us. Yeah. That is bright, though. <laughs> so, Windows, I guess? What? what? Why? What? <laughs> unplug it, it's fine. Hang on. I was so careful to have every cable come out the same side, and now this one. Look. Right. I'm sure it's fine. So much nicer and cleaner now. It's either fine or it just broke everything. Nah, it's doing a boot up process. Yeah, but now the top fans aren't coming on. It's a boot up process. There's no RGB on the top. It's a boot up process. All the other ones are on. It's a boot up process. <laughs> this, they were spinning. They were spinning, but there was no R, G, or B. It's a boot up process. <laughs> right. So yeah, I totally didn't unplug stuff while it was powered on. Come on, give me all R, G, and B. Yay, there we go. Huzzah, again. Genius, unwavering, all that. Right, have I got a HDMI oh, cable? I just stabbed my neck on the corner of the PC. 
Is it this one? There is one plugged into the bag that's just nothing. Okay, take that. Du, 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 du. HDMI. Where do I plug it in? There it is. Now, if we're any good at streaming and better than what we are at building. <laughs> and we're not that good at streaming right now. This should, in theory, work. Maybe. Oh, we didn't put the. No. no, that didn't work. No. I thought it was going to work, but it didn't. But to be fair, if we turn it off and turn it back on again and actually plug a keyboard and mouse into it, then it might work. So I'm going to leave keyboard and mouse up to you. Not these ones because I'm using them. Yeah. So see what you can come up with. Um, see if you can quickly set um, these or something. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't be bothered with that. Keyboard and mouse. Keyboard. And so, yeah. Proto, I've got to ask as well, where, where are you on Discord? Um, it showed that you're not there anymore, so I thought I'd ask a question. I did try DMing you, but um, as I'm not a friend of yours, I can't DM you. So. so yeah, we will change the lighting. I want to go into the software, into IQ and change it all up, but we're trying to get it to stream through the streaming PC so you guys can see it instead of us lugging up a monitor here and actually showing you. <laughs> I just got an email. Guess what's launching? What? F124. <laughs> I've had enough. I don't want to do a video on that. One. No, no, definitely not. No more Discord. That's a shame. So I'll have to let you know about the Patreon meetup directly on Patreon. But yeah, it's looking like it's going to happen in August. Right, I'm going to turn this off. Keyboard's all you need for now. Keyboard's all I need for now. Pretend it's Corsair. Oh, look at everyone at the keyboard. <laughs> so. Who goes there? Let's uh, take. Goes yeah, I need that end. You had to so, figure out what bit you wanted. You just reached. And I got scared. So if we now go to that, we're going to see if this works. It should, in theory. I can't see why not. There's a Corsair keyboard right here. <gasps> the mouse isn't. No. Uh. Pretend it's Corsair. So it's still showing no signal. We have a BIOS. There you go. I'm better at streaming than you are at building PCs. OK? Well, <laughs> wait, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, yeah. No, um, I stand by that. But was, was the thing even my mistake? It was both of our mistakes. You know that's a sackable offense, right? <laughs> Right, so we're in the BIOS. Let's do uh, it's MSI, isn't it? So F5, no, F6, yes. Yeah, yeah got them. Uh, take that one away. <laughs> that got tangled. So, right, keyboard. I thought earbuds were bad for it. So keyboard, I'm just like knocking everything off of here now. Right, uh, let's go into advanced. So we're gonna set XMP, which is down there. And that should be good to go. We need Windows. I oh, no, no, won't even have the BIOS on, will it? Different I motherboard and all that. that. Different motherboard. Are you right? It's fine, the BIOS is fine. Right, let's F10 that, and let's get Windows installed, get IQ on here, and then go from there. Yep. Need a white keyboard. And I, I don't I don't actually think I have any white keyboards. I mean, you do, but... Oh, apart from the ones that are in there, but then, yeah. There's one over there. I mean, I don't have spare ones, especially Corsair ones, so... You know the problem with the white keyboards that we use in the office is that all the keycaps are black. Mm, that's yeah. a big. That's a big problem with a lot of white keyboards. Is yeah. it's white except for the keycaps. Mm, no, it makes sense. White. Lots of white mice do that too. It's like here's a black mouse with white bits. We call it the white edition. Yep. It just looks worse. So I did get into the BIOS and now nothing. <sighs> I'm starting to not like these live streams anymore. <laughs> That motherboard still keeps forcing itself out. So yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Unplug and replug the HDMI. Just, I mean, it's right there. Why not try it? See if it works. 
didn't seem to. No. Oh, we have Whoa. something. Uh, uh, memory overclock, memory failed. overclock failed. That's interesting. It's a B-series board, so... Yeah, but it's a 14900K and the memory controller's, you know, not on the motherboard. All right, let's skip the memory for now. Let's just at least get Windows installed. Get Windows installed, <laughs> get IQ on here, and then we're good to go. Every time I cough, it hurts. <laughs> so, see what it does now. See what it do. Burn your retinas out with these RGB fans. I love how it booted then. It actually got rid of us on this camera. It came up no signal, no signal. Weird. Yeah. So. Wow, that's small. <laughs> like super small. I think there's a full screen display mode, but you wouldn't be able to read chat. I can bring up chat on my phone. Ah, it's alright. Okay. I, I can, I've installed Windows enough times that, yeah. I mean, at this point, there's not too much to do. So I'm going to bring up chat on my phone to monitor anyway. No problem. I don't have a product key. Windows 11 Pro. Got an itchy nose. Uh, wait for that. And that. Next. Custom. Next. So we are getting there now. Yeah, I think the build looks good. Um, I guess we should ask, what colour scheme should we go with? I think if we just did all white, it's a bit too much. Yeah, we've got, we've already got a vote. I think red. To match the red. The red on the graphics card and the slight bit of red on the motherboard. Yeah. I think... What do you think? What's the worst colour? <laughs> yellow. No, yellow would work, because that's Corsair's thing. Yeah, purple would work. Yeah. It's hard to find a colour that wouldn't work with a white build. Yeah. Even green, like, mm. you'd be like, yeah, yeah. Orange, yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah. What colour doesn't work? So, what have we got? No red, it's an Intel CPU, but it's an AMD GPU, so. Also, and you does can it see it's an AMD. doesn't really matter. No. Yeah, there is that. RGB off. How about mint green? That sounds very pastel and pleasant. Mm. Gonna be honest. Kind of like, I mean, these are, some of the colours on there now are pastel-y. Yeah, Corsair's default look is very pastel. Yeah. So yeah, right, Windows is nearly done. Restart now. We really should have done the light version of Windows. It would have been done by now. Like, restarted and everything. Go yellow to match Andy's yellow Ferrari. Do you know, if I had the money to buy a Ferrari, I wouldn't. If I had the money to buy a car, Maybe wouldn't. I don't have a license. Oh, it goes in the front. Yeah. No, I wouldn't buy a Ferrari if I had the money to buy a Ferrari. Just never really appealed to me, Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So, uh, two people said purple. I agree, I think purple. I think purple would look nice. Do you want to get all the other sides on? Okay. All right, should we... When we get in, we got the software installed. We'll just go through a few colors to give people an idea. Yeah. And then we can have a more, more of a fair vote because people have got like what it looks like in their head. You should have a spare MDME installed just for live streams. We do, but then if you have, sometimes it can kick up a fuss if you use an AMD one and you've got AMD chipset drivers or you're using Intel and yeah, so forth. It just, sometimes it's more hassle than it's worth for the sake of you know, 10 minutes extra on the live stream. I think our last, how long was Ooh. our last live stream? Uh, three something else? Yeah, I mean, we're at two hours 18 now. So, this is actually going to be shorter than the last one. I feel like we have to point out how this looks on the back. Mm. Oh, that's nice. I, I wish there was more here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll show you guys in a minute what we're talking about. Once we've got everything. Actually, we could probably show them now. Yeah, just be careful not to, like, pull the HDMI yep. too much. So. Look at that. That's how it looks. God, this is heavy. That looks great. Yep. <sighs> it's not even got the glass panels on it. That is heavy. Oh, no, thank you. For a mini ITX based system, that is very, very heavy. God, that is blinding. <laughs> yeah. Right. Where's my mouse? There. 
But literally, I've got this plugged in to the stream, so I'm watching the stream the same as like you guys. Um, so yeah, it's really hard to actually see kind of what's going on. It's not picking up Wi-Fi. Have we got Ethernet anywhere? We do, don't we? Do we? Maybe. We have it. Well, we've got one coming from there. over there and one coming from over there, so there. Ah, yes. Oh, that's the one from walking over there. Is it gonna? Anyway, it, it will be fine if you just let me uh, take it on the other side of this. Okay. So yeah, we just need to get some internet. Wimp, it's heavy. It is really, these metal panels, the front one and the top one are really, really heavy. In my defense, uh, not only is it heavy, I'm sick. <laughs> right, ethernet is in. So yeah, I think purple seems the one to go for, but we'll we try a few different colors. Yeah, I did see a comment and got, it, it's been removed now, mm. been retracted. I did see it though. You asked what the blue was like. Oh, the royal blue, yeah, I yeah. saw that. So yeah, we'll try that as well. Come on now. Still identifying. My missus votes for both purple and mint. I'm not sure about the mint. I, I mean, we'll give it a go. I'm not sure about it, but. I think I have, on my PC at home, I've got loads of presets of just different color themes just to basically Mm. fit whatever mood I want mm. I think I have one that's basically that purple mm. and mint mm. so yeah we'll do that so stream's probably going to be another what 10 minutes by the time we've got IQ and everything installed pink maybe you know what pink is one of the hardest colors to mm. get right on RGB yep. but with these pastels I reckon they could do it quite well yeah so uh, after the stream, I will be about on our Discord. If you want to join and you're not already, the link is there, discord.gg forward slash etechnics. I'm on there pretty much every day. <laughs> uh, also, if you want... Oh, no, no, let's turn that off. If you want to support us, you can do so over on Patreon. Turn up what off? I turned the LED switch on the GPU on. Oh, OK. Out of interest, is that a reset button, I'm guessing? It looks like it. Yeah. Don't press that. <laughs> what do we think, everyone? Light on or off on that GPU? I think off until we decide what color to go for. Turn it back on. Yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling the red. No. Most definitely not. Oof. Oof, oof. <laughs> yeah, everyone's saying off. That's fine, we'll keep it off. But we will try a few different colours. And when we get to red, maybe we'll turn it back on. Yeah, if we go for red, it'll fit in nicely. Mm. <coughs> Are you right there? No, I'm not alright. Power through for the people at home. In the safety of their houses at no risk of contamination. I want to put the top back on. Yep. So that, yep. Other way around, nope, that is the right way around. Yeah. Uh, I think, oh no, hang on. It's got hooks at the front. Uh, okay. There we go. Yep. Cool, that is on. Uh, oh, that blue looks nice. Just join back in, sorting tea out, or dinner if you, if you say it wrong. <laughs> I mean, tea, tea is a drink, is it not? Tea is, it is a drink. Tea. Here's the thing, my family has always used the word tea, but never as dinner. Tea has always been like... A cup of tea. In, in, in re reference to food, when oh, okay. the word tea in reference to food has always been if you had a big lunch, like Christmas, Christmas lunch or something, like a big thing, you'd have tea later on. Mm. You know, like, cup of tea, a small thing to eat, just to fill the void where you would have dinner. That's that's how my family's always done it. Yep. Yeah, we should be good now. Got another off and screw it, go full red. We might. We'll see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. So let's have a look, more options. Set up, let's see all the test benches. <laughs> no. 
Breakfast, dinner, take. No, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, pin. They, they don't call it the BLD for nothing. <laughs> no one calls it that. I was making a, no. I was making a sandwich. That joke. profile pic. I know it's terrible. I just every single time I see it, I'm like, I really need to change it, and then I forget. It's a picture from when I was like, I don't know, half my age now. I mean, I'm nearly 40, so. How old is your Steam profile picture? What one is that one? Uh, you're s sitting at uh, a table or something? I think you're seeing a table. Is it the one where I'm poking my tongue out? I can't tell. It's so small every oh, time that's I see the, it. I think that's the one where I'm wearing a very offensive t shirt. It says, No, I don't have Tourette's. You're just a C star star T. Oh, I was, yeah, was, was going to make a joke about what it said. Uh, it was my 21st uh, birthday. I was going to make a joke and it's like, it's a very, very offensive shirt. It says bum. <laughs> no, no, this went full on. I, I went into a supermarket and some old lady was coming towards me and all you could see is her like... <gasps> like you could see her mentally reading it and then just like getting really upset. Can we also, just for a second, just say Microsoft, can we not advertise services you have to pay for as mm. you're installing your operating system, please? Mm. Yeah. Proto said starters, breakfast, seconds, bruncheon, lunch, afters, dinner, tea, supper, and midnight snack. Uh, you read it wrong. It's not breakfast, it's breakfast. That's where uh, the, the morning s scuffle in the car park. Well, you say I said it wrong. How, it's spelt the same way as how you would say breakfast. Yeah. It's break but... fast. And funnily enough, everyone gets it wrong that breakfast doesn't have to be in the morning. No. If you don't eat until dinner time, that's that your, your breakfast. breakfast. Because yeah. by definition, you are, you breaking, are breaking your fast. fast. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes, apparently. Proto, are you a hobbit? <laughs> uh, I won't ask about the <clears throat> status of hair on your feet on stream, but if you want to head over to Discord and go into the Patreon section and tell everyone about how hairy your feet are. This this has turned into something that I really didn't want it to. Oh, have you, you've not right. seen Lord of the Rings, have you? No. Hobbits have really hairy feet. Good for them. That's part of the thing. <laughs> they also really love eating and they smoke a lot. Oh, okay. I mean, that just describes me. Apart from yeah, but I think I think I think it's specific that it's drugs that they smoke. Oh, okay. No, that's not me. So I can't actually see this is so small. I think I just wrote ice. So IQ. Let's go and download that. No, I don't want to watch a video. That's a how-to video. That's a how-to video. Just want the software. Where's the software? Integration. Nowhere to download. There's a big download button there. That would do. That just takes me back to the same place. The, th the funny thing is it, it could just be behind your face. Us. Yeah. I mean, there's a... The profile for having no face. Oh, and now it's crashed. Well done, well done, Edge. You know what? Twice now, we've had Edge <laughs> be a problem on stream. <laughs> on a brand new system. Oh, no, it's good. Yeah, there, there you go. No! <laughs> Stupid <laughs> drop down. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. <coughs> so, it's going to be that one. Oh. Uh. Right. Uh, skip this and download. Right. You're on in the background and suddenly I... I'm hearing hairy feet. Yeah, we were talking about you. Mm. Talking about you, Jacob. So next. I don't know how well you guys can see this because I don't think it's at 4K, is it? I think it's only at 1080p. So yeah, hopefully the quality's okay. So yeah, let me know what the quality of the screen is like. I'm actually oh, gonna cool. raise up the scaling on it anyway. Oh, it's at 150. <laughs> you know, Let's go 200. You know how trains are screwed around here. Mm. I just got an email. This is gotta love trains in this country. I was delayed quite a bit yesterday in the morning because mm. trains. Oh wow! It's found all the modules, like lots of them. <laughs> they refunded me two pound thirty. Oh wow! That was nice of them. Didn't you have to get a bus? Did you get a bus? Uh, no. This morning I was meant to get a, a oh. rail replacement, but they cancelled it. So, so you got a bus this morning or a train? I got a train this morning. Oh, okay. By the time 
I got to the train station and found out that the buses that were meant to be running from the train station mm. were cancelled, it was quicker to wait for the next train than walk to the bus station and get a bus. Makes sense. Yeah. Right, so this is just installing now. 71%, nearly there. You didn't have your water in the end. It's over there. Yeah, you, oh, is, did you get two for me? Yes. Oh, happy days. I wasn't going to drink it because I thought it was yours and then I was just going to take it anyway. My water bottle was a liter. I'm like, I've got enough. Yeah. Right. <coughs> so, start our <coughs> queue. So I've turned the scaling up now, so hopefully you guys can see things a little bit better on the screen. Oh, I just that last one wasn't water; it was just air. <laughs> so here we are in IQ. So. Oh. That was disgusting. Right, it's just picking everything up now. I drank the water, it tasted like that cough thing I had earlier. Oh, no, that's not nice. Brightness reduced. The maximum brightness was reduced due to the IQ Link Hub power limitation. Reduce the number of connected devices to apply a higher brightness level. I mean, I want to say that's bright enough. <laughs> I don't know about you. Seems fine. So we have a firmware update, so let's do that. Because it probably won't let us control anything unless we do that. Is it done? Nope, that one oh. says updating. They all turned off and then, and then... Have you tried the new Windows dynamic lighting? I do not. No, I've not tried that, have you? No, but I have um, got a notification on my own RGB software. It's like, hey, if you want, you could just not use this. Mm. Windows does it if you want. Yep. So that's that. Okay, that's on the latest version. Yeah. Come on now. Also, yes, Brennan. Tolkien refers to it as the burning leaves of a herb, which pipeweed or leaf, a variety of selective tobaccos. Yeah, it, it's essentially a drug. Mm. Right. So we can actually run the wizard. It tells us where the ports are. We kind of already know that. It says up to 24 compatible IQ Link ecosystem accessories can be connected. Okay. Each support each port supports up to 12. Okay, so that's more than what we thought. And then it's also detected everything. everything. It should be... Yeah. Wait, hang on. So we've got the hub, and then we've got nine fans. Three, six, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah. And then we've got the... What's... Um, AIO screen and stuff. What's the different dots of color about? Uh, it's how, like, if I go onto here now, I don't want to, why is the wizard thing still there? You'd think that would go away after you've actually done that. So. The, the Sapphire card has a LED switch. We did look at that earlier when we were debating, before oh. we got the software installed, we were debating what color to do. So graphics and drivers are currently installing, apparently, because <laughs> it just completely kicked me off. There we go. And it's turned my scaling back down. Thank you, Windows. So yeah, clearly it went to a Windows update and... Uh... Where's the RAM colors? Um, I don't think they were showing there because you were looking at the hub, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so RAM I can see, yeah, you can is see the over there. So then you go into there and then you that's, can change all that's not what that. it look. That's not what it looks like. Yeah. That's not what it looks like. What, changing color? That's exactly what it is. No, I mean, that's not what the memory looks like. Oh, yeah, that's the black stuff. No, I mean the Oh, LEDs. the top there. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. They don't have a big no. chunky thing, do they? So, lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, lighting effects. So, at the moment, we're on spectrum. We can click on that, and then we can change it to... What should we do? Color shift? Okay. I mean, that's just Pink. a cycling, isn't it? Sp yeah, yeah. Spectrum cycle, or whatever you want to call it. But everyone wanted to see different colors, so if we slow it down... There you go. You can see all the colours in all its well, glory. There's the purple. Yeah. That pink, orange. Orange. It's what we all thinking looks the best. There's the ooh, ooh I like that. Well, that's cyan. Yeah, I like yeah. that. It's one of my preferred colours. Is a is a blue like that. Like a bright blue, yeah. There's a darker blue there. Yeah, what, what colour? One fan isn't lighting. 
Oh yeah, you're right. No, which one? This bottom one back here. What have you done? It's lighting it's, on it the is. back. It's lighting on the back. It's not lit on the front. Okay, that's something we'll investigate later. So yeah. Random sync that law. Yeah, I mean yeah. Th that memory so just does again, that. So again, have to go into there and then. It's not even synced in the software. No. So we can go in there. What do we do? Color shift, doesn't it? <coughs> is there a sync all button? There is. You have to go to here. I don't know how to use IQ. There. I haven't used it in a while, to be fair. Um, create a profile. And then within that, is this... I think there is a way of linking everything, but I can't remember how. And it's changed since I last looked at IQ. So yeah, there is a way to do it, I just can't remember fully how. It's gotta be in there somewhere. Uh, memory's not in there. Uh, device settings. Lighting. You have to link the lighting layers if I remember. So yeah. Did, where did, Where did YouTube go? I don't know. <laughs> Edge just decided it's had enough for today. So let's restore that. And it closes again. It, it We're still live though, I can confirm. Yeah. <clears throat> IQ and dodgy RGB go hand in hand. Hey, I think IQ is the best of a bad bunch, to be fair. Agree to disagree. So yeah, um, lots of different colours you can do. We could literally be here all day. And <laughs> Edge has just closed again. Yeah, Edge keeps c crashing on us. So we can't actually see the chat. So I'm, I'm relying on my phone now. So let's go static colour. Yeah, I can still see you. Thank you. <clears throat> I've so got the stream up on my phone so I can monitor. Okay. So that's white. The main one people said was purple, wasn't it? Click home on the tabs at top. RGB in general is a pig. I guess you just don't like RGB. You, where's, where, do you not like fun, Joe? Okay, so yeah, we can do that. Under murals, we've now set everything to blue. Oh, okay. And then you could just set a custom profile in there, I guess? Yeah, yeah, so we could do static color. It's... Actually, I should just be able to go back and change the blue. What effect do you want your mural to display? Okay, two seconds. Next. 16 by 9? Yeah. What? Don't ask. All right, purple. That, I wouldn't say is purple. No, that's not purple. <laughs> go darker. Do you reckon that's more purple? Purple's a hard one to do. Yeah. Is that like pink? Yellow. Someone said mint green, didn't they? Which I guess that's different to what's on the screen. That is like a cyan. There you go. There's your mint green. I don't actually mind that. I don't mind that at all. No, I I certainly think it would be quite nice actually. Mm. What's the what's the screen <clears throat> on the pump doing? Uh, liquid temperature. Okay. So we can change that as well we if should we get, really wanted to. We should get a GIF of... Um, so know. we could do find dashboard... A, find a video of a man no. falling down the stairs or something. Oh, I don't need to know what the dashboard is about. So home... RGB, 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 I agree. It's not RGB itself, it's controlling it that's a pig. Eh, it depends on the software. Some, so some RGB softwares are really bad. Mm. But... There's some of them. They're, they're, they're fine. So, yeah. No, I think, you know, looks good. Link, then you have probably exceeded the number of devices, devices in the port. And she says 12 per port, though, didn't it? Does it count each <laughs> side of a fan? Probably, yes. So it'll be 2, 4, 6 at the bottom. But yeah. there's still less than 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, the then AIO. They're plugged into 19. different sides, right? Yeah. Yes. It's 12 per side. Yeah. You'd have to have more than three fans total if it was counting. Yeah. 
no, not more than three, more than six fans total mm. per side, if that's how it meant it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So in theory. Either way, what we do when we it. when we come to strip this down, we'll start having a look at kind of everything and why that fan isn't yeah doing what it's meant to be doing. But yeah, it's been two hours and thirty nine minutes. I think I'm about done. <laughs> You're not gonna test a game on it or anything. I don't think we need to. I mean, we all know how a system like this is going to perform. For me, it was yeah. more about the lighting and, and stuff like that. And I think this looks pretty damn nice. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's been an interesting one. We've been doing a lot of streams lately. So, uh, yeah. Always fun to do ones from like different brands and you know different reasons for doing it and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, as always, thank you everyone for tuning in. Like I say, hopefully you uh, yeah, enjoyed the stream. It's uh, it's been a fun one. Even if Brandon was, you know, dying throughout part of it from having a bad throat. I'm holding back your cough. <laughs> <coughs> but there you go. Uh, like I say, if you want to uh, chat to me and Brandon and you know the rest of the team on Discord, the link is just up in the chat. Discord.gg forward slash etechnics. If you want to uh, say thank you for the live stream, just give me a like on the way out. Um, it helps us to know, you know, that people did enjoy the live streams. If you want to support us further, you can do so over on patreon.com forward slash etechnics, where you will get access to tons more of our testing data, exclusive behind the scenes content, um, monthly live streams specifically for Patreons. What else do you get? Bi-weekly game nights, meetups in the etechnics office, so much more. And it helps us out like you wouldn't believe because YouTube doesn't pay that well. <laughs> uh, but no, we actually are looking to take the money from Patreon to invest back into the business when companies say, for instance, they don't want to send us a sample, we can actually go out and buy one and that sort of stuff. So uh, like I say, helps us out like you wouldn't believe. I know plenty of the people in the chat already are Patreons, so thank you very much for, for your support. But uh, if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. But yeah, thank you either way for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. And uh, yeah, we've got some cool content coming up soon including an apology video from me <laughs> so uh yeah look out for that one with the very very i want to say it's going to sound like a clickbait title but it's not going to be clickbait right yeah that's probably going to be the next video probably because well we recorded it earlier so <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. we've got another video in the works that could be done first but i think it's probably more yeah important to get it out f f sooner yeah yeah so definitely. that'll be the next video it how long is it roughly don't know. Okay. 15 minutes, something like that. So. Okay. But there you go. That's enough of us rambling. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Say bye, Brandon. Bye, everyone. <coughs> Down my throat. <laughs> Literally, as I pressed <laughs> it.